at the game streams. We're good. I mean, not game streams, programming streams. <laughs> We're good. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, whatever. There we go. What's up, gamers? <clears throat> I know it's late again, and I keep saying that I'm gonna do these earlier, but it's just too hard, dude. I don't know why I keep waking up so late. There was like, probably for like almost a month straight. Every day I was waking up pretty early, and now I'm just not. <laughs> and honestly, don't really know why. But, uh, you know, I guess it's just how it is, huh? Uh, but, I mean, today, well, okay, today I woke up at 12 still, so, you know, I mean, it's still pretty fucking late. <laughs> However, comma, uh, I was just playing PoE. <laughs> Look, man, I was, uh... I was, uh, I was trying to fix my build, I was doing some good shit, I was, I was getting, like... A lot more defenses, and I was just like, I want to figure it out. I kind of figured it out, so I, you know, I'd look okay. <clears throat> Today is only, it's slightly my fault. <laughs> I won't disagree. Okie doke. Um, normally, you know, your boy does a st just stalls for quite some time, but today, no. Uh, we gotta go, okay. I, uh, it's already three. I want to, I mean, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't really want to work on UI, but that's just what, that's just what's going on today. Okay, we got to work on UI and, uh, and that's it. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let me switch this and then we'll just get going. Okay. Dude, every day I wake up and I'm like, bro, I'm gonna fucking, <laughs> gonna fucking, Start my or edit a YouTube short, edit a TikTok, and then start the stream. And then somehow that never happens, and I do nothing for like four hours. Did I? I think somehow, like, I don't know what happened since I was working, but now I just need to, like, when I wake up, I need like a couple like hours to just like relax and exist. <laughs> I, for whatever reason, I can force myself to do work later than, um, then I can in the in the morning like at 2 a.m. For the last like five days. I've actually been uploading on Luke's with or not Luke's with daily Luke's with clips I did upload create on the Luke's with daily though for the first time <clears throat> So W man you're saying <laughs> you know they say UI is what makes people see a game as a game I mean look man, I'm not saying that it's gonna be good UI, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying that the UI is going to be there, alright? Once again, if you've watched the video, the game dev video, it's uh... You know... <laughs> questionable. Uh, my, my skill level in UI. Okay, let me, let me, let me close everything. Not close everything, I mean just, like I have a bunch of POBs open because I was playing POE. Open go dot and uh, okay, we can just start going, okay. <clears throat> no stall today. All right, I just again, we just we just want to get into the fucking into the swing of things because UI is both gonna be it's gonna suck, so I want to do it earlier, and also I have to learn how to do it at all. So, all right, everything's open. We're fucking good to go. Oh, you know what else I should do before we start? Here, let me... <laughs> uh, just, I'm just gonna say update. I don't care, dude. Look, I know that I could, like, you know... Okay. Um, I know that, in theory, I could, you know, have real update. But it, I, this source control is just, again, for me right now, it's just if my hard drive fries, so... <laughs> That's it, okay. So, today the main goal is to get some kind of basic inventory, right? So currently, run the game. And it just says conveyors. Oh, wait, right, hold on, let me let me turn off, uh, you know what, let me make like... Okay, you know what, you know what we'll start with? We'll start with this first, okay? 
Uh, first thing we'll start with is how, like, how to like change things in game. Because currently I have no way to do that. So like I have like a creative flag, just like where the fuck is it? Um, here, and this is just set to true by default. Uh, I guess like okay, so we can set it to false by default, and then um, I mean let's just let's just get let's just get a uh, you know. A little look see of where we are again because I <laughs> I, I kind of don't remember okay so I have the, yeah five conveyors can place and then we can break them and add them back to our inventory yeah and then so the, this inventory thing right here this is obviously not good you know if I was playing a game and this is the inventory that I saw that would be bad <laughs> especially because uh, I don't it doesn't show that I have other things <laughs> so, you know, we probably should like at the very least show the things that you have in your inventory, right? Now again, so I don't know exactly how I actually want to do inventory in my game because uh So again, um I had like some ideas. Right? I mean, cuz okay, obviously, you know, like a Minecraft, like any any game with an inventory, right? You got like your box a shit. I mean, even just like Factorio, right? You got your box, and then there's like boxes in the box, right? And then they go all the way down, however long the inventory is, and stuff goes in the box. But, uh, I don't know if I want to deal with things like, um, you know, I don't know if I want to deal with stuff like stack sizes and like stuff like that, because I feel like in, I don't think. I want inventory management to really be like, you know, a big thing, I guess. I'd rather just have inventory management be like, here's the things like, uh, okay, let me put it this way, right? What I want, like, the, like I guess like a pillar of, of um, design, right? <laughs> We're using real designer terms, but um, what I would, what I essentially want the, the complexity in the game to be is one of them is going to be uh, like logic or lo like logic slash logistic puzzle, right? Which is like, <laughs> you know, how you get thing to go to, to a place uh, in, under either some constraint of space, time, and how to get it as fast as possible, right? This is the obvious first one. Then second, uh, where I want complexity to come from, right, is randomness. Or we'll, we'll just say R RNG, RNG, right? And I don't mean like randomness as in just like oh it crafted, <laughs> and, and next time it doesn't because it's fifty fifty chance to craft. No no no. I mean like like uh things like 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 tft augments that's like a randomness so like this, i guess like the tft store in general this is another place i want you know the complexity of the game to come from so it's like if you're playing the game and halfway through it's like oh now your belts are five times faster but you can't use x other thing right now you're in you have to, you're forced to use belts uh which i mean it ties back into this but there's other things we can do in the future again i have to we have to flesh the game out more to see where where more of this can come in. Uh, and then the third one is, I mean, they all kind of tie back into this, right? This is, this is, this is the big one, right? So like, if this isn't fun, uh, then the game doesn't work, <laughs> right? Like that's just, that's just like, this is the baseline of a Factorio game. So this is the big one. Everything, I guess what it should be is everything ties into this one to add variety or complexity in interesting ways, right? <clears throat> and in my mind, at least, inventory management does not boost this, right? Every, everything should be boosting uh, this, essentially. That, that's where I'm coming from as, you know, from what I think the game would be fun like. Everything should go towards this in some way. And inventory management, again, it's just like, it's there. Now, again, the issue for me is mostly, like, how do I do that, right? Because, like, you know, we could look at something like, like the Minecraft uh, creative inventory, right? Like, this inventory is essentially kind of what I want, except instead of having infinite of every item, 
uh, you see the item you have, but this is also extremely overwhelming, obviously. Like, let's say we have, like, you know, 100 items. <laughs> you don't really want to just vomit 100 items onto the player. I do, like, okay. Let me put it this way. I want there to be, like, you know, you can't have infinite of every item, because that'd be stupid, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but I also want it to not be overwhelming. So what I'm thinking of doing is just showing you all of the items that you do have. Uh, and then maybe like a search bar like this to sh to look up items that like you want to make or maybe I mean even we could like okay, let me it's time to reopen Factorio <laughs> time to remake it dude because <sighs> so I think the Factorio screen actually is not a it's not a bad way to do it right where it's like you have your stuff on the left and then the things you can make on the right right Even if you're making a sandbox game with complete freedom, you need some... Well, obviously. <laughs> the progression, again, it's going to be like a roguelike. Like, I mean, it's so... It's going to start you out with, like, really basic, right? Like, conveyor belt and, like, a thing that makes items and a thing that crafts them. That's it. And then... Uh, oh. Why? Bro! <laughs> My achievements! Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. But, like, this inventory is not that... I mean... Okay, it is overwhelming, right? But, but like, the way that Factorio does it is when you start at the game, you only start with things you can, that you can that you have research and can see. Maybe I, I mean, honestly, maybe I just do that. Maybe I mean, I definitely want some way to have it so that the player can craft items in their inventory. I don't want to have to make it so that you have to make an automation. Thing. Okay, you know, what? honestly, maybe we just do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> These are the items you have, and then over here are the items you can make. Um. Yeah. yeah, that seems fine. That seems that seems fair, I think. How do you roguelike an automation game? I mean, roguelike any game I don't think is that hard. Like, I think any, like, okay. <laughs> a game idea I've had for, like, a way long, like, since I was in, like, high school, is, like, um, either pinball or um, a crane game as a roguelike. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Crane Game, Roguelike, probably not really, but, like, Crane Game is an idle game. Those are two games I've had an idea for, like, a long time that I think would be great. Uh, but they require a lot more art assets, so it's not really worth uh, me pursuing. However, comma, I think roguelike in any game is pretty simple, honestly. You know, it's just, you just have to make it so that... <clears throat> uh, there is a goal that you ha that you need to achieve, and with some constraint, whether it be time or health or skill or what, you have to overcome said goal with some random elements thrown in. That's pretty much it. I mean, Peglin is like, it's not pinball, it's Peggle. <laughs> I don't think anyone would look at this and see this, this isn't pinball. Like there's no, there's no flappers, right? The flippers are what make, are what make pinball pinball. <sighs> this game is cool. I mean, I wish it got a little bit crazier. Hey, actually, you know, yeah, it's, it's more like it's more like pachinko. That's that's more what it really is. Yeah, not peggle. I mean, peggle is pachinko, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but regardless, I think this is probably what I'm gonna do. Probably at least similar enough, uh, where you can see your items on the left, but there won't be stacks. So rather, rather than having like I have like what like. 250 inserters on my inventory. Rather than having 250, it would just be one inserter with 250 or 242, however, however much it is. Right. And then, um, yeah, on the right will be the items that you can craft. Or something similar. Okay. I mean, at least for now, let's just get the left side. I don't think I need the right side for a hot minute. <laughs> left side uh, is just going to be boxes with items in them. Okay. Okay, so they gotta go in the canvas layer. So let's add a child node. Also, this is fucking a little bit loud. Is my oh, okay? I don't know why it seems so loud to me, but whatever. Pretty sure there's a, there is a flipper power. Play. I mean, I never played the full game. I I played the demo like a long time ago. Actually, how is that game doing? Is it does it have better uh does it have better reviews yet? Okay, very positive. It's not bad. I have 10k fucking reviews. Jesus, this game made bank, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> really hard to justify the price on the identical mobile game. Same game, just put it to mobile is five bucks. Yeah, unlucky, bro. <laughs> the gothic lady wasn't lying. Pegging is really fun. 
<laughs> but I don't know. I, I mean, I, I only put the demo, which you get to like the first area, and it was okay. I didn't like. I think the idea is really funny, but I think the execution was a little bit lackluster, at least for me. Uh, again, maybe it's better than I than than when I like just a demo, but like I, compared to like a game like Bellatro, like this game when I played it, uh, it immediately caught like hooked me <laughs> in like two seconds, you know. <clears throat> so. Okay, anyways, so, how the fuck do I do this? Uh, <laughs> so I guess I just, okay, realistically speaking, uh, to make this, this is just a bunch of buttons inside of a box, right? That's pretty much it. <clears throat> so, button, link, texture button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I guess I want to. So I'll, I'll have to create. Well, okay. Hold on. How does? No. Okay. You you can click these whenever. Okay. So we can just generate some number of boxes. Um. I mean, it's okay. Like, okay. I want the inventory to be infinite. So I guess, I guess I'll just generate a row, and then if the inventory is bigger than that row, we generate a second row, and then on and on, right? So, okay, okay. Let's... Let's attach a script here. This will be our, what, like... Let me think, how do I wanna, how do I wanna, like set up my UI versus input because those are always like they're pretty I mean they're very coupled obviously but I do want them to be slightly different so <clears throat> I mean the, the best way to do it always is you have your input so that this is just so you can get um what do you call you want to be able to get uh like keybind changing uh you have your inputs as like separated completely from the uh the key you're clicking, and then you just have each key, each key represent one of those uh, states. <sighs> so I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm actually probably going to do it all through signals. <clears throat> I, I think. I think that seems like the best way to do it. Is we'll have like a list of keys that you, that the game will listen to. And then um, in the underscore input function that runs every frame, that will send out a signal to other things uh, whenever, like, so if I, if I open inventory, open inventory will be like a thing that can happen. The key, when you click it, will trigger that signal to be sent out to everything that cares about inventory. And then I think in the canvas layer, uh, this is where all of the, like, like this script, this script is gonna just control all of the UI, like, um, like showing things, hiding things, and then maybe the back end stuff. I might put it into individual things here, but we'll see. Okay. So we'll just call this like just ui.cs. That seems bad. <laughs> How about like game ui.cs? I mean, it just sounds more legit. I don't know. I feel like ui.cs sounds stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sounds stupid. Okay. <clears throat> so... I guess this will want a... A container, right? Because we want to have a, a box container. Because we want to be able to have it so that when you move... You, the inventory should be probably movable. I mean, it just seems right to me. Like... And then all the boxes inside the inventory should move with it, right? And I think I think that's what containers... That's the point of containers. I'm quite confident. So why is color picker inside a vertical box container? Whatever, okay. <laughs> so I guess we want a vertical box container. And then inside of that, uh, we want... A horizontal box container, right? So this will be... 
this will be this box, right? The vertical, and then each of these will be a horizontal, right? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's a little big, but that's okay. Tell me a platforming roguelike history game that was developed using Python. I think anyone who uses Pygame, all it means is they're too afraid of memory management, dude. <laughs> it, I mean, who uses Pygame other than Renpy now? I don't think it exists. Like, I, it, no, no one fucking does it, dude. Why don't you make a 3D game? Because, <laughs> look, look, man, <laughs> as, as, as much as I respect the devs of Satisfactory, uh, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's too big. Like, I felt like it was very much more annoying uh, when I fucking did this. <laughs> like, I've, I've played it before. I, 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 I have it on Epic Games because it was on sale or some shit, and Alex and Omi wanted me to get it there. Um, I don't know. I, it, was just, it was just worse, in my opinion. Also, I mean, okay, not only that, but also, obviously, modeling is much harder than sprites. <laughs> Buying models of, like, f machinery is going to be way harder than just getting a dude. <laughs> to draw me some dog shit ass sprites, you know what I mean? Okay, so, uh... So I've got a box in a box. <laughs> Great. Uh, is there a way to, like, texture? I mean, I, kind of, I guess I want to, um... Dude, I keep... Okay, hold on. Let me move PoE this way. <laughs> that way I just see this way. Uh, I want to... Like, draw something on these. I guess I just add, um... A texture to it? Or is there like a way to just add like there's no way to just add like color? Mouse. Filter, pass, input, theme, input. Okay, what I mean. <laughs> theme New theme. I don't know what a theme is. I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna like it's fine. What if I modulate it to be like cyan? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. Material? Nah. Okay. I. I think I would have to apply a sprite 2D to this, which is whatever. I don't. I don't really want to do that right now. 3D modeling can be much easier than sprite work, depending on the 3D modeling style. I mean, yeah. Well, okay. No. <laughs> Not entirely true, right? Okay. Like, cause a, a Terraria sprite. Is just a sprite. And even if a Minecraft model is just a box, you still have to draw the sprite for the box. Uh, and you have to draw six times more. Like Terraria Dirt is one face, whereas Minecraft Dirt, you have to draw. Well, okay, you don't have to. <laughs> but you at least have to draw two one for the top and then. Or three one for the top, one for the bottom, and then one for all, all the sides. At least for grass. Dirt, I guess you don't have to, but like I said, it's just, it adds way more complexity almost no matter what. Unless you are making a low poly game that only uses colors, in that case, maybe, maybe. And even then, I would be hesitant to agree with anyone who says that. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier to make something in the shape of a chair look like a chair than it is to make a flat thing look like a chair. I don't think so, bro. I mean, <laughs> like, if I just, you know. This is a chair, bro, <laughs> from, a t from a side perspective. <laughs> and that was a hell of a lot easier. And if I want to make, if I want to give it a little bit of depth, you know. <clears throat> uh. And there you go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I dude, I wish that the eraser and paint existed better. Okay. Well, okay, but like, look at this. Now it's if you ask anyone what this is, every single person that has seen a chair and table will say a chair and table. Now I promise you, giving me the exact same amount of time. If I wanted to model a chair, it would be way worse. <laughs> again, I understand where you are coming from to a certain point, but I, again, I just almost never will agree that that's the case. It's very, very difficult <laughs> to, to learn how to model and be able to do it quickly and also have a computer that's good enough to run Maya. You know how many people have a, good, a computer that can run Maya at like a reasonable frame rate <laughs> compared to running literally like Fucking paint tool sigh. <clears throat> okay. So, gameui.cs. Uh, so, okay, okay. So, here. Here's what I need to do, right? Oh, well, okay. The U actually, the inventory automatic uh, already updates itself. I guess, right? Like we already have this take item thing, which I don't know if I wanna, I might wanna change this to be um, by signal eventually. It's just a little bit easier to understand, you know, eventually. <clears throat> but like, I don't know. A chair in Minecraft is just six blocks. It's more, well, okay, if you want to draw it the exact same way I just did, then yes. But otherwise, no. <laughs> like, it's got to have at least four legs. So, no. <clears throat> and again, if you want that chair to look at all good, way, way more effort. So. Alright, alright. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this first, okay? I want to make, um, like, I want to make, like, the way th that we handle, you know, input somewhere. Uh, I guess I could just probably throw it on the player, right? Throwing it on a player seems pretty fair to me. Yeah, okay. Player input. I guess it sh okay hold on let me here I will add just a node and then this will be player input okay Oops. attach script player input four blocks for the legs one for the bottom and one for the okay W man I want you to go make that chair for me and show it to me okay if you if that will if if that looks like a chair then you win but otherwise Definitely no, bro. And I guarantee you that if you use four blocks for the legs and one for the bottom, it's gonna look like dog shit, dude. <laughs> I fucking guarantee you, dude. Okay, so in here, uh, all we need to do is set up a, a list of inputs, right? I mean, okay. Eventually, we'll have this be done through UI and all that shit, right? But for now, I'm just gonna hard code it, okay? So it's going to be a, uh, a dictionary using system collections generic. Uh, we want to grab dictionary of key. Yeah, key to um, and then we'll, inside of here, we will make a public enum um, player actions. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Enum is a key. Wait. <laughs> what? What do you mean Enum is a clad? Bro, this is stupid, dude. Wait. Is <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, Enum for player actions, and then we'll have, uh, you know, like, left. Right. No, give me my uh, my autofill. Okay, left, right, up, down. Uh, this is this is movement. 
Then we want uh, UI, so toggle inventory. <clears throat> and then we can add more from here, right? So it's going to be key to player actions. Actually, I guess we'll call it player action. And then this is uh, key binds. So in, we want to make our own thing here. Public override void input. And then I don't, I don't know why it does this. I don't know why anyone uses the at symbol in C sharp, dude. So stupid, bro. Like it's so useless. It just makes your code unreadable. This is horrible. God, okay, input event. And they just call it input event, dude. It's, <laughs> look, as much as I am against, right? I, look, again, your boy is against long names, okay? I, I'm definitely one of just fucking, <laughs> Just just call it guy and I don't care, but don't use the at symbol. It's so much worse Okay, so for each yep Oh That's kind of a meme, huh? <laughs> well, okay So okay, how do I how do I do an input thing again? I know it's in here Yes, if input event is all this. <clears throat> so if it's a key event, and then I guess also in here we should do uh, is input event house button house event. Finish the chair. Okay, send it in my. Are you actually? Are you a med? Okay, you just joined. Okay. You need to wait ten minutes to send the disc screenshot in Discord. What the fuck do you mean? You need to wait ten minutes. What? <laughs> How the fuck do I turn that off? Uh. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off, so you're just gonna have to wait, brother. <laughs> I don't I don't care enough to disable that right now. So you're just gonna have to wait, okay. Is that just on by default? It might be, I don't know. Okay, so key event dot is pressed and key code equals key dot or just equals key, right? Key dot key? No, no, no. This is in keys. Okay, let's do this. Key dot key. I know it, it. It's a little confusing, but it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> oh, actually. I don't know what this is saying. I'm just gonna enable and ignore future errors. <laughs> I probably should have read that more, but <laughs> just whatever, bro. Who cares? Okay. Okay. Um. So key is, I mean, this kind of actually sucks now that I think about it a little bit. I mean, it's not, ho I mean, okay. Essentially what I want to do is make it so that any time, I mean, okay. The issue with this is that basically every time you press any button that could be recognized as a key press, it's going to send out a signal to everything, which isn't like probably that bad. And it'll be very nice to do it this way, but it's not awesome. What's up, Oli Oli Oliver? Yes, Oliver? How much of the game have you done? Not very much. <laughs> Look, I know it says that your boy is on what? What are we on day nine? Uh, but like, you know, a day is sometimes like two hours. <laughs> sometimes your boy gets stuck debugging something in Godot. That's just a knowledge issue. And sometimes I'm just fucking dumb. <laughs> so I've been trying to do things also somewhat smart. Rather than, you know, slapping things together and just believing in Jesus and that it's going to work later. 
Uh, so it's going slow, but you know, hopefully, hopefully my my efforts will pay off in the future, right? Game dev is a time-consuming demon. Indeed, it is. And again, we're not even at the content part yet. <laughs> like the worst part is that like game dev is 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 time-consuming in the fact or after in my mind after you finish the base game. <laughs> Once you move into content, that's like 80% of the work, dude. You know what I mean? And we're not even there yet, so... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I think I am gonna just do it this way. I mean, it sucks, like, to just send out a signal to everything. Uh, but I mean, okay, one thing we can, we can do is we can, um... We can have the, uh, you know... We can have, um... What the fuck am I saying? What's it? What's it? <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? What am I saying? What am I talking? Dude, <laughs> I'm losing- I'm actually dying, dude. I don't know if it's the lack of sleep or what. <laughs> uh, okay, I just want- I'll send out an event and it'll be fine. Because we can just remember to not overuse it. And I mean, even if it's overused, it's fine. It'll early exit, like, ASAP. So it's like, what, we waste fucking five if statements. It's whatever, dude. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so I was about the other stream when you were testing conveyor button performance. Excited to see what you do, though. <clears throat> I'm glad to see that someone, <laughs> someone's excited at least a little bit about me trying to make this shit good, dude. Even if it may not turn out that way. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I mean, t today is a little bit less of a or more of a boring day, I will say. Uh, because I'm, I got to do, I'm adding, I'm adding like basic inventory UI. So it's kind of more just like. I don't know how to use this program <laughs> and me trying to finagle and fiddle my way uh, to a point where I do know. But, you know. Also, how does Factorio handle resizing the game? Is it just... Okay, so there is a minimum size to the UI. Wow, imagine playing the game like this, dude. <laughs> this is sick, dude! Yo! Bro! <laughs> Dude! Okay, anyways. Uh, so yeah, there is a minimum UI, but then they have a scroll a scroll bar. I mean, I think... I think realistically speaking, we just expect people to have a monitor that's bigger than 8x9. I think that's fair, right? That's a fair assumption to make in today's day and age, I think. So, that's what I'm just gonna do, okay? I assume you said it for you want 2.0. Oh, yeah, 100%, dude. I've been keeping up with every Factorio Friday, bro. They're going crazy. They're going crazy, even, I would say. <laughs> I'm so excited for, like, train stops, being able to... I don't have to put uh, a dumbass, like, coal stop in every train or put a, uh, a requester chest at every train stop. It's gonna be... It's, I'm so excited, dude. It's been a long time. I never played SpaceX because I heard it's really hard and a lot of part of it kind of would suck. <laughs> but, uh, you know... I'm basically hoping that it'll be like SpaceX, but less sucky. Can you add Subway Surfer to keep people entertained? This isn't a- I mean, this is- we're not on YouTube shows right now, okay? <laughs> yeah, same. I'm, I've, I've never played any, like, actually hard Factorio pack, because fucking- dude, they're- <laughs> It's for Master Kiss only, man. I can't do it, bro. <laughs> I looked at the Pianodons, how to make Red Science. And, and and never never looked at anything else, dude. I th I've thought about maybe playing Crack Crest Oreo, maybe, but I, I don't know. The early game is always so much more tedious that like it makes me not want to play any of them. And I don't know why they do that. Uh, same with a lot of like I, I've played a lot of Minecraft mod packs on this channel. Every mind pack or Minecraft mod pack that's like an expert pack is also like, yeah, fuck you. We're gonna, you, 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 there's no wooden tools anymore. You're gonna right click the bark and get bark shrapnel and then craft the bark shrapnel by like right clicking a hundred times or something. It just sucks. And I don't know why they all do it. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I mean, again, I'm sure that the, the overlap between the two is a circle, but it just, it sucks so much ass, dude. <clears throat> Okay, how do I do this again, by the way? <laughs> I don't know actually how to, uh... I don't remember how to do signals. Where the fuck... So I, I have some signals somewhere, but I don't remember how to do them. Is it in here? No, a UI preview. 
Yes, this one, okay. How do I do signals in here? So, there is a signal of this, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait. <clears throat> in signals... No, no, okay, I make the signal first, I believe. <laughs> so, it'll be a signal... Tied, not tied any pussy handler, handler. it's gonna be... Uh, just like player input event handler and then it'll, it'll take in uh, I guess a player action yeah okay yeah I don't know again I don't know why they do that but again it's every fucking factorio and minecraft mod pack ever they just they just love <laughs> putting tedium in the beginning I get I I don't know why like do they enjoy it? Is it enjoyable to them? Cause what the fuck, man? <laughs> Make the UI a roguelike. <laughs> you know, honestly, that would be kind of a cool idea. You guys ever see this game before? Evo Land. Yeah, let's look at Evo Land 2. Cause it's like, wait, there was a mostly negative. What the fuck was that? Be the richest. <laughs> it's free to play with mostly negative? Oh, it's pay to- okay, it's just Chinese pay to win. Okay, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> uh, hello, there we go. This game, Evo Land. I have it, I played it like, long, long, long time ago. Like, <laughs> here, here, look at this shit, dude. Uh, Evo Land. <laughs> there is zero likes, two dislikes. <laughs> Let's go, dude! I don't know if Evil Land 1 is on. No, it's definitely not. I have 1 through 24. Yeah, no Evil. Evil Land 1 is lost to time, unfortunately. Because it's it's on uh it's on my my old, old, old channel. Lugzvo Games. My old Let's Play channel, dude, when I was watching fucking Tabuscus. But this game is like it's kind of it's like it's it has an idea of that where you have to like you can evolve the game as you play and unlock features in the game. It wasn't bad. Like, I think for what it was, it's like a cutesy little, like, you know, it does the idea okay. Um, okay, I don't know about one of the best video games I've ever played, though. <laughs> like, it is a lot of just, like, you know, oh, you fucking f f play Street Fighter now because it's a mini game and then, like, a racing game. It's not bad, but, and again, I think, I think for what it, for what it's trying to do, it does it, it does it well, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it's not doing that. Okay, so let me save and then build and then... Member names cannot be the same as their enclosing type. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. Because because the node player or this this script is called player input. The class is player input. Okay. I have to call it like. What the fuck do I call this shit, dude? <laughs> well, like, I hate naming things, dude. Like, I know it's just for me, so it doesn't matter, but I, I... <laughs> okay, fine. Player action. Fuck you. All right, whatever. Are you good now? You're good now, right? Please tell me you're good. Because player action already exists. Why? Why does it matter, dude? Oh my god. Player action received. Event handler. Okay. P input. <laughs> now that's a great idea, W fan. Nugget and a biscuit went hard, dude. <laughs> Swing my diamond sword. Let's go. Oh, I need to do this. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> so now the signal should be there. Yes. Okay. It is great. Okay. So I want to connect this now to here. Let, let's rename the canvas layer to UI layer. And, um, wait, UI, pre what the fuck? That's not what this is supposed to link to. 
Oh, it's uh, open. Okay, <laughs> I'm just stupid. All right. Uh, here, I'll call it game game UI layer. Okay, since the the script is called game UI. So player input, player action received. I want to send this to game UI layer. Yes. And then how do I, <laughs> how do I fucking do this shit? So entire entity map, I believe. Yeah, it's this. Okay. So I need private void underscore. Wait. Oh no 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 no. Okay. This needs to be on player input or player action received. What the fuck does it call by default? <laughs> <laughs> okay, on player action uh, received. Okay, connect. So now I should be able to say on player action received. And it's not going to be mad, maybe? Maybe? Okay. <clears throat> so now I want to. Pass in the player action. Okay, hold on. Let me let me move this actually out of the class. I want this in. Well, I guess I can't. I wish this I could. Just, I wish I could just put this in global, bro. But it doesn't work that way because it's cringe. Fine. Player input. Player action. Action. <clears throat> so, Robbie, what's the goal today? Uh, today the goal is to get basic UI working. Oh, did you send it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> let me look at your fucking chair, dude. Okay, look, this is not a Minecraft chair. That's six block. This is not six blocks. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you said in Minecraft, the chair is six blocks. Okay, these are rectangles. Those don't exist in Minecraft. So I fucking call fake news on you. Okay, so now we just have to do an if check for if action equals uh, this dot toggle inventory <clears throat> and then if this happens then uh, here you know what I'm gonna add a texture how do I do this again <laughs> how do I quick load Um. Okay, don't quick load. <laughs> load, load, art. Okay, we're, it's time, chat, for us to make UI again. <laughs> it's time for me to re-enter my my Giga UI brain. Okay. Uh. Yeah, paint will do. Actually, I guess I all I really have to do is make it gray. Uh, a little bit darker gray. There we go. Okay, I just save this. <laughs> As, look again, we'll change it later. All right, this is just temporary. Okay. Uh, just background. Okay. UI background PNG. Wait. Did I really? Same exact fucking shade as the background of Godot? What? 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 What the fuck, dude? I. I <laughs> Do I have a superpower? <laughs> what? That is crazy, dude. That I I don't. It's it's the exact same co Okay. It's slightly off. Oh, dude, with the box around it, it looks identical. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What the fuck, dude? Yo. Yeah, I was going to say, dude. I can make one of the uh 
What are those dumb channels? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, <laughs> shit. That sucks. Cause now I don't know. <laughs> okay, I guess we can we can still tell, right? I guess we can still tell. So, default this should be invisible. And then in here, if the action is to toggle the inventory, uh, inside of here, we just do um, visible equals not visible. Okay. Oh, the dictionary is not filled out yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> Let me do that. Player input. We'll just set it up in here for now, okay? So, keybinds, uh, dot add, uh, key dot e. And this will go to player action dot toggle inventory. Okay. Now run it. So if I press e, Oh, right, I don't send the... <laughs> right, I gotta send it. Right, 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 okay, hold on. How do I, how do I do that again? Signal. Emit signal, this guy, okay. Emit signal, signal name, dot, uh, player action received, and then I send in, um, keybinds, Actually, no, no, it can just be, it can be key dot value. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why? Okay, here, it's fine. I'll just do int. Yeah, that should, it shouldn't matter. All right, so if I press E now. No, okay, why? <laughs> uh, player inventory, nope. Inventory, nope. Game UI, that's the one. Is this not? No? Okay. Emit signal. Why the fuck not, bruh? <laughs> oh, did I not save? Is that all? Okay, I think I just didn't save. Hey. Huh? There we go. Okay. So now there should be a box. Visible is false. So it should be set to true now. Okay, it is. Fuck, where's my box? Oh, it's covering. Can you guys see the, the color change? I can't at all. I literally cannot see anything changing. Nothing is changing right now. <laughs> it, it, if you told me that that was identical, I would believe you. Do I have to change the fucking number, dude? <laughs> I think I have to. <laughs> I'll go pee look like I'll be back.
Okay, so I think it is working. It's just not working like <laughs> I guess I don't understand why Why is it covering con here? Let, let's start with it on, right? So is conveyors in 10 covered? No, okay. Oh! Stupid, okay. <laughs> I, I toggle the whole thing to be invisible, including the layer and the, or the label and the label too. Okay, okay, got you. Yeah, there it is. The box is there. Okay. <laughs> uh, God. Why is it like this, though? <laughs> Why? Had, uh, how did I choose, like, the same color, man? Okay, whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, so my goal is to just create the Factorial UI currently. So, they just got... Sli I mean, they have some bevels and shit. And, like, shadowing. I'm not gonna do that, okay? We're just gonna make it slightly darker. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess... I guess... I guess I just go in here and make fucking... Here, hold on. <laughs> no, don't fucking being MS. No! Okay. <laughs> and then we just color pick. Is swoop! Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's let's do this. Save this is the background, and then resize this down to like, um, like thirty by thirty, right? <laughs> thirty by thirty. And this will be our our like item slot in your inventory, right? So I can now save as item button .png. Yeah, that way this is more visible, <laughs> you know? I don't know why this big red line appeared all of a sudden. Bro, what? <laughs> There's too many damn lines on my screen! Okay, it's fine. So, run it again. If I press E, it should appear. Okay. Good. That's, that's all I wanted. Okay. So now, all right, let's, let's figure out how to make this work. Texture button. So textures, textures. Oh, normal and I see. Okay, so normal will be. Oh, wait. Click mask. <clears throat> okay, so my only issue with this is that... <clears throat> I mean, I want a background and a thing in the button, right? And obviously, making, you know... <clears throat> making... A background for like, like a, a, every single item in the background would be dumb. That's super stupid, right? Okay, here. First, let's just let's just load in like conveyor, right? Where the fuck is my button, dude? Hello? Why can't I see anything? What happened? Where's my selector? I... It's these red lines, dude! These red... I don't know what this is! <laughs> but something bro... Right, I'm gonna restart it. I'm just gonna fucking restart I don't know what happened. I'm just restarting. Because it's obviously unhappy. Uh, let's just close Godot fully. Hello? I just missed, apparently. No, you fuck. All right. 
Why does it? Why is Microsoft Edge? Why does it exist, bro? Can you please tell me the red lines are gone? Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I. Why? Just a fucking dumbass. Okay, is all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, texture button is now here. What the hell? Why can't I move any of this? Okay, hold on. Label. I can move that. V box container. I. Why can't I move this? Oh, children of a container get the position and size determined only by their parent. Oh. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> oh, okay, I see. So the sprite just needs to be like this. Yeah, okay. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is, man. Okay. It's got it, it. It we're gonna have it overlap a little bit, and then this H box container. <clears throat> How does this work, bro? So inside of here, <clears throat> layout, <clears throat> trans container sizing, shrink begin, shrink center, fill. Vertical fill. Okay, here, let me just, uh... Do this, really quickly. So if I add enough of these, what happens? <laughs> Does it now go to the second one? Nope, it just keeps going, huh? Okay, so they're, they're obviously in here needs to be some like okay hold on. let's let's see so h box container container sizing it should be shrink center nope no 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 Here, what if I add, what if I copy this whole thing and paste it into here? Okay. So it does do kind of what I want. Like, just by default, auto automatically, right? This isn't, like, horrible. <laughs> Again, it's it's doing something similar-ish to what I want it to do, where... <clears throat> oh, this button needs to go away. Yes. Okay. So, essentially what I want to do, then... Is so this this container should be empty by default. Oh no 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 no! It should be full by default, right? Yeah 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 yeah. This should be full by default. Um. <clears throat> okay 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 okay. I'm seeing I'm seeing what's happening. Okay, so I want to add a child node to the HBox container, and this should be a sprite two D. Oh, no, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to... Okay, first of all, I need to generate all of this in runtime. So this is all just me figuring out how this works at all, right? Second of all... Um... So, okay. These are too big right now. Currently, these are, like, huge. These are giant. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight things fit. Can I make it so that, like... Here, let's see. Is there no... Where's the transform? Oh, it's probably in here, right? Because, yeah, this is... Yeah, child of position and size of dependent with parent. Okay. So in here, container sizing. Transform. <laughs> no. 
How do I say what the size should be? Use container properties for positioning. Which is where, motherfucker? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the fuck, bro? I don't. I I want to make these. What I'm trying to do is essentially make the buttons inside of this smaller. But they're. I don't see what to do that. <laughs> Focus? Neighbor left? Okay. <sighs> Good dough. I'm even looking up oh, eight, eight. box container spacing. Yes, control size is set to 16 by 16. H box container anchor top wide constant separation equals zero. Say, so, where does that where does he even see that? Set the separation margin property on your containers. Where? <laughs> Where? Is it... Am I blind? I mean, I genuinely don't... <laughs> genuinely don't see it, dude. What the fuck? Okay, let's just look up Godot HBox container. In the docks, uh, doesn't show me fucking anything. Awesome. No, it's so sick, dude. I love how it doesn't show me there's nothing here. Okay, hold on. See, now, this is great. How the fuck do I do this, dude? <laughs> how the fuck do I do this, bro? Sizing options? No, I don't need that. These containers make use of the ratio property for children with the expand flag set. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> so, Alice, the worst feeling. Yeah, the worst feeling is looking at any documentation fucking ever, dude. This isn't telling me shit for dick. Okay, what if I click expand? <laughs> Bro, I'm changing all these flags and literally nothing's happening. <laughs> oh no, don't, okay, don't expand, okay. <laughs> Using containers. Okay, hold on, hold on. It doesn't show me where, like again, I'm like again. Maybe it's just not in the inspector or something, but it sure isn't in here anywhere that I see. And I don't know why. I mean, where's the? Why doesn't it have maybe in box container? This has alignment mode and vertical. Int separation. In the theme. Okay, maybe that's a theme. New theme. Font? <laughs> what do you mean font? Base scale? <laughs> this 
this is not. <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. Maybe... I mean, it opened this thing. Okay, what the fuck is this, dude? What? <laughs> I genuinely... I have no fucking clue what is happening. <laughs> Checkbox. Menu button. What are you saying to me, dude? Like, am I crazy? Or does this look like a bunch of fucking gibberish nonsense? What is this, dude? It, it, it's just so... Okay, so it, I click using containers. And it doesn't... I mean... What if I... Okay, let's just try for one second. What if I do this? Okay, cool, and all. Like, is it really, is it really just that I can, like, can I really not scale these down? I'm, I'm, I know there's a way to scale them down. Oh, wait, ignore texture size. And then it deletes it. <laughs> and then it fucking, where did it? Click it. <laughs> what if I do it to all of them? What happens? What if I just ignore texture size and all? Are they now all? Okay, great. Awesome, dude. So how do I, can I not, I can't do anything with it, apparently. I can't touch this. Because children of a container get their position and size determined only by their parent. But how the fuck do I do that then, man? How the fuck do I do that? Okay. Uh, Godot box container size. How to resize contents of it. Yeah, what the fuck is this shit, dude? Set expand with stretch mode keep aspect as well as size flags fill and expand on all texture regs. No, bro. I just want to... Oh my god. What's up, Luke? You might need to change the minimum allowed size of the buttons. Is that a flag? Because that's, that's exactly what I'm looking for. But, again, maybe I'm blind. I don't see shit for dick in here. Like... <laughs> it's not here. There's minimum size. But this is not for... Uh, this is for the box itself. Not... I mean... There's no minimum size here. I... Bro... Okay, see, I think Godot, sometimes, like, so far, it's not, like, the worst thing ever. I don't think it's, like, bad. But there are so many things. It's just, like, I don't understand why it's not just made this way. <laughs> it's on the texture button. Where is it on the texture button? I only see ignore thing. Layout? Custom minimum size. Oh, but I can't change it. Yeah, I can change the min size, but I can't change the scale or anything at all. <sighs> like, all I can do is this. <laughs> if I ignore texture size, then it shrinks it down to like the minimum size possible or something. Okay. So this guy is saying that the HBox container is infinitely in their health bar going off the screen. So is there a way to limit the size of an HBox container 
and then have the heart shrink in size as more are added. I don't want that. See, I just want them to always be the same size. Like, why is there just no way to fucking... Okay, so he's got his cards here. The cards have empty spaces in between, which just keep widening as the cards become fewer. With five or more cards, it looks okay-ish. However, when there are three or more cards left, it looks terrible. Yes, if I remove... if you, So if you fucking kill it, then this is what I just saw, right? The best way I can think of is with control notes is to set a line center on the H box, give the cards a custom minimum size, and set size flag to shrink center. Set a line center on the H box, on the hungry box. <laughs> Okay, which is what I did, right? I, I'm alignment center. Give the cards a custom min size and set size flag to shrink center. Once, once again, again, like this, this should not be this difficult. I feel like, I feel like the whole point of an H box container is to contain the objects I want. But then I, it, it's so much harder than it needs to be, brother. Like this is, it's way harder than it needs to be. It's insane, actually, how much harder it is just, just to exist, dude. Okay, let's make the custom minimum size. Let's make a thirty by thirty, right? And then ignore texture size. It kind of worked. Like, I- Why can I not just scale them, bro? Why? Why? It's crazy, dog. Okay, I see now what stretch ratio. Okay, stretch ratio is not doing anything because it's full. But why can't I just scale them down? Because I, I mean, I have to be able to do that. Otherwise, I have to duplicate every texture in my game, which is like really like top ten bad ideas ever, right? <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Oh, scale. Oh. -ho! Okay. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me delete all these then. Delete. Delete all this shit. These are all worthless. Aha! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> there we go. And now we want to align at the beginning. Yes. All right, all right, fine. So, yeah, this needs custom minimum size, and then I ignore this, and then the stretch mode, yeah, keep was wrong. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, now, each of these needs a texture, right? This needs a sprite 2D, and then I'm just gonna load... I made, <laughs> I made my, my, my item button dot PNG, right? And then, uh, why is there no way to like, do parent transform. <clears throat> Whatever. I just want, I want the, I just want the transform to be centered on it like this. These all, oh, but the, okay, the Z index here, the, the ordering, this will be negative one. Yeah, and then we make it slightly bigger. Ah, okay, so then this whole thing, the Z layer, this now needs to be negative two. No?
Okay, I'm seeing what I need. I, I, I need to flip this. This the sprite needs to be in there. No, but that doesn't work though. Hold on. <laughs> How do I, <laughs> I think, okay, okay, hold on, I know what I, I need to do Z as relative is not true. And then this should be... Uh, this also needs to be... <laughs> Wait, no, 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 hold on, that doesn't make any sense. What the fuck? Okay, hold on, put this back to zero. Texture button. What's the, what's the ordering? Uh, ordering is zero. Sprite ordering is also zero. Vbox container, this negative two. And then texture button, this also <laughs> needs to not be. There we go, okay. All right, we did it, chat. <laughs> we did it, we made, we made one, one button, dude. <laughs> okay, so if I run the game and I press E, or it's, it's in it, but yeah, I get, yeah, yeah, okay. And it's clickable, okay. Here, let me, let me, let me just really quickly, this thing, um, Textures pressed. Okay. Pressed. We're just gonna load in Minecraft on a PNG. Okay. <laughs> so now if I run it and I click this, it should equal. There we go. Okay, great. It took fucking 900 years. But it's okay. We got there. Alright, I'm gonna go take a piss and then uh we'll keep going. So now now basically what we have to do is recreate all of this. Uh, in code rather than in the editor because obviously you know we don't want this to be here when you don't have a conveyor right <clears throat> okay I'll be back Okay. Well, anyways, uh, <laughs> you're definitely right, Luke. And I just, again, uh, you know, once again, your boy's not out here is telling you that I know what I'm doing. Okay, it's a learning process for all involved, <laughs> but mostly me, because most people who come in my chat fucking at least know something, dude. <clears throat> okay, I do think I want a hot bar. So, in theory, I guess I have to make a second UI, <laughs> which does make me kind of depressed. But yeah, I just want to make this, right? This down here is pretty fucking nice. Yeah. You can press 1 and, uh, and get access to your shit. Right. I think, I, realistically speaking, I should probably just copy exactly what Factorio does for this, because I think this is pretty, I mean, why fix what's broken, right? <laughs> like, just just do what works, you know what I mean? <clears throat> what's up, Sent, Sent Demirn? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> okay, one thing I will say about, you know, I'm, by the way, for the record, I'm restreaming to both with YouTube and Twitch. I don't know why, half the YouTube names, oh, okay, one is either your name, like it's just your real name, because it's just your personal YouTube account, and another, I swear, YouTube names are so much harder to read, dude. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you're Sen or Sent, but... 
So you're using Godot? Yeah, I, I, I look, man, Unity scared- What the fuck happened? Okay, anyways. YouTube scared the shit- I mean, not, uh, Unity scared me with their, uh, we're gonna fucking take all your money shit. So, you know, <laughs> we, we stopped that, huh? Okay. What's up, Stable Zane? Long time? I don't recognize your username. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> if you were in, if you're an old head and here fucking nine million years ago, what's up, bro? Oh, tennis kid. I do remember that one. What's up, dude? How's it going? Call me Scent. Well, Scent T or Scent. I, I, <laughs> regardless. Don't use the name everywhere. Don't blame YouTube. Okay, fair enough, I guess. But I don't know. For whatever reason, people on YouTube chat always way, way harder to read. Okay. So, we got this working. So yeah, I guess now I need to essentially just recreate these in code. If we can do that, then we can create a very, very, you know, basic inventory system going on. <clears throat> New with me? Well, your boy is part of the layoffs <laughs> in the game industry, uh, as everyone knows about. Dude, it, it's crazy! that it, it's still going. There's more, bro. <laughs> That's insane. <clears throat> like, how are there more? <laughs> how are there more layoffs? Not, even, not, 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 not just in games now. Now it's fucking Google laying off everyone. Like, just all the big tech companies doing another round, brother. It's crazy, huh? But yes, yeah, so that's why I'm programming on stream again. Took a graphics was last semester and you used OpenGL shit was pain. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm glad you, you go to this website before. You go here before. If you haven't been here, uh Zane, this is like this is the way to go, dude. This is how I and everyone in my class learned it because I found this over summer and I was spreading the word of the people. <laughs> Cause uh yeah, that shit that shit without that shit, dude, we all fucking fail, bro. Also, you guys want to say something interesting? Liz, dude. I'm making a fucking sine wave with my view count on my YouTube Shorts channel. What the fuck's going on there? <clears throat> okay. Um, right, okay. So I need to make a second control for down here in the hotbar. The reason you're using control nodes for your game- No, 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 this is not- This is your inventory, okay? I'm- Oh, fuck. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing a very, very, like, I- Essentially, right now, uh, the goal for today is to get, uh, Cause I have an inventory system and code working, uh, and I wanna get it just like, again, again, something very, very basic and simple, uh, working in, like, in-game, so you can actually use the inventory, cause currently, here, <laughs> if we, if we run it, uh, the inventory, uh, is current- well, okay, you can't see because this- but okay, like, there's- see how it says conveyors 5? If I place down 5, it goes to 0. And, uh, I want to make it so that you can see the items in your inventory and then click them down. So this- that's what this is going to be, okay? I'm trying to, uh, replicate essentially what Factorio does, because, again, I hate UI, okay? <laughs> I'm not a fan. So I'm I'm taking all the inspiration. I'm stealing as much as I can, brother. Fucking UI is not for me, man. Yeah, that would be cursed. <laughs> Making an entire I made a game in with only controls. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I'd like to stay away from this as long as I can. So The only real issue I have currently- I mean, I wish I could just, like... I wish that I could, like, attach these to each other. Can I, like, group them? Is that is that a thing? Godot group nodes. Groups. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I just want to, like... I just want to like slap them to like want to glue them together. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Godot, had, like, 
child follow parent? Use a control node parent. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I add a control here. And then I put all this in the control. And then now if I move, okay, there we go, nice. Although, <laughs> uh, okay, I see. So I, I actually, I don't want this to be a control. No, 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 no. I want this to be a uh, container or maybe box. Text edit, color rect. <laughs> okay, container, box, con center container. Yeah, this one, okay. Now I do this and put this inside. Okay. <laughs> that did not, oh, top left, there we go. Okay. Wait, uh. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's good enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah, all right. Texture rect exists, so you don't have to be finicky with the spite Oh! Oh, okay. I should use that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Um. Well, okay, so let's just delete this then, right? <laughs> and then in this one, I add a texture rect. Okay, yeah, that's significantly better. <laughs> the texture rect, and then I quick load. Uh, nope, not quick load. <laughs> load load art UI background.png. Okay. Ignore size. Then the transform. Or layout. Minimum size, that's what I want, right? Did I just make it 50 by 50? Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. V-Box antenna might have a weird offset. Have you looked into control node anchor? I, I have not touched UI literally until like right now. <laughs> so uh, the answer to almost everything that you will ask is no. I, I look, I mean, okay. I looked at it because Godot has got like a, they've got some like using containers shit. I looked at this for like five seconds uh, but I don't know. It's a lot of words, dude. <laughs> like, it's just a lot of words. And, uh, should really look into anchors. They're integral to the system. All right. All right. Maybe we'll actually read. So, this is the control. It's got a top, left, right, and bottom. And then it's got anchor points. Done by editing the margin properties of controls. Each control has four margins left, right, bottom and top, which is correspond to the respective edges of the control. By default, all of them represent a distance in pixels relative to the top left corner, uh, or if there's none, then the viewport, okay. You make a control wider, you can make the right margin larger or make the left margin smaller. Okay, I don't understand why this is better than just making the size bigger though, I guess. Anchor properties are just where the margin distances are relative to. Uh, each margin has an individual anchor that can be adjusted from the beginning to the end. For the vertical anchors adjust from 0 to 1.0, with 0.5 being the center. The anchor properties... Anchors make sure content scale when the parents scale. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that is definitely, <laughs> I mean, I would, you know, I guess I would prefer for my uh, my game to run at more than 1920 by 1080 like my college games do. <laughs> <clears throat> if you look in the editor, there are some pins in your viewport origin. Those are the anchors of the nodes you have selected. Okay, so I, oh, that's what these are. That's what the little green, the little green things are. <laughs> Uh, how do I see those? It's under control in what? Anchor? Not... Oh, Anchor's preset. No? That's them. 
<laughs> okay. So if I just set it to full wrecked. Wait, but that fucked it, dude. <laughs> Wait, what happened, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what did I do, bro? Oh, full wreck makes it for the parent. Oh. Wait. The f the fuck? <laughs> okay. Undo the anchor's preset. But now why... Why did these die, dude? <laughs> what happened? fuck is going on chat <laughs> all right hold on so i think i don't what i don't understand i just don't have a basic like full understanding of what a control is like i just kind of slap these in and pray to jesus <laughs> Uh, but I don't actually know like okay. What is the difference between an anchor margin and size? Like if the anchors make sure the content scale When the game scales, I assume I, I, I assume if there's no parent and then it's, it's the like the, the parent quote-unquote would be the viewport, right? Okay, what is layout presets? Instead of manually adjusting the margin and anchor values, you can use the toolbar's layout menu above the viewport. Besides centering, it gives you many options to align and resize control nodes. Margins equals space around the thing. Size is space inside the thing. Oh, okay, I see. So, so, mar so anchors and margins are to keep it so that when you resize them, the spacing stays the same, right? Not the size. Well, the size should resize regardless, just because that's... I mean, I'd hope it does, I guess. I would hope. <laughs> so, okay, the center container, the minimum... Okay, so the minimum size is zero, zero. So if I make it, like, 100 by 100... Okay, there we go. Now this is all set in the center, for real. Okay. So let me actually then full wrecked right i want i actually want the margins to be uh the same as the viewport right what's up elijah back from my six to four six a.m to four p.m <laughs> oh school oh zero period dude fuck zero period dude i'm so glad i'm not in that shit no more <laughs> that is awful dude <clears throat> but okay, how do I? Okay, because what I want is that I I guess I would I just want this center container which holds this. I would want this to always be uh, the size of the viewport, right? Including the size. <laughs> My brain hurts already. It's okay, Elijah. Me too, dude. Me too, brother. Anchors affect the node itself and not its children. So when you set the center container to full rec, the center container fills the full circle, full screen, not its children. Yeah. But that's fine, right? I mean, right? <laughs> right? Whoa, it's Japan, guy! Yeah, I hate UI time, though. So <laughs> this actually sucks. Is the game working or did you spend... Um, I mean, I have an inventory system working right now. Um, and I, I, I cleaned up the code from, like, before. So, like, this is actually, like, slightly real. 
in I don't remember where it is. I don't want to find it. I'm too lazy. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's fixed. Okay, it works. Like I have an inventory system. I'm trying to make it so that you can actually it reflects the the U, the UI will reflect what's inside because currently uh, I I have it by just this this text here, which is awful. The thing with containers is that they decide the size of the child. Center container might try to make it as small as possible. <laughs> Again, I think the real issue is that I just don't understand what the fucking container does. Because what I'm thinking of doing is just like, okay, I just select arbitrary sizes here. So like, this will be, you know, 500 or 400. And then texture rect will also be the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? I put my children in containers. <laughs> my king, dude. And then I don't know why this is down here. Why is this down here? Where are the anchors on this on this bitch? There are no anchors. Wait, where the fuck are the- where the fuck are my anchors? It just- they're not here? What you mean, dude? <laughs> it's the kind of view that scales with what's in, in it. I think in real is like that, but I don't like- I just don't understand- like, I don't understand what is happening. Like, this is when I should probably just watch a video on how- like, on like a basic rundown of Godot containers, but that's not the content that we're here for, okay? <laughs> It's down there because the V-Box container is vertically made. Oh! 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 Okay, so this should be out here then. Right. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I want to have this be like... 420. <laughs> By 420. So that there's a little bit of bevel edge. <laughs> right? That maybe works? Probably? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we're, okay, I'm just gonna run and press E. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. E. Yeah, okay, I can click the button. I mean, it's... I still don't understand what an anchor is the point of. Cause it does sure ain't resizing nothing. <laughs> it sure ain't. I mean, it's moving correctly, but it's not anchoring. It's not resizing. We can get that later, okay? <laughs> we can get to that later. We don't need that now. Holy shit, what's up, Neko? Long time to see. How's it going? I know it's popping off, dude! H box! It's not resizing anything because the center container is preventing it. Why though? Because of the anchors? How do I make this resizable? Is my question then. I feel like the answer to that might fix my life. <laughs> Okay, well, regardless, so it, inside of here now should be, um, I guess a label. The center container just centers what's in it and keeps it at a constant size. Oh. Okay, so I just, I just, I'm using the wrong container. Okay, what, what's the, what's the correct container to use then? Is there a way to make this text not look like shit? Dude, <laughs> that is not a five. That is like, what the fuck? It's so <laughs> BD displayed text. No, how do I fix this? This looks awful. What the hell? Okay, I think label is wrong. Let me just delete label. Give me, give me a rich text label. Maybe this one's good. Five. Nope, that looks like shit too. 
<laughs> Label is right? Okay. Why does it look so bad then? How <laughs> do I make it look less terrible? Displayed text. Where the fuck? Label settings? You can specify the font settings. Where are settings? <laughs> oh, make label settings? Okay, new label settings. What? Ah, okay. Yeah, the size. This should not be... All right. New f f uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, hold on. Outline? Oh god. No, okay. Three. How about like a three black outline? Okay, how about like a five black outline? Alright. Dude, it's so... Anti-aliased, bro. Like... It's... I feel like it's not using vector math or something. <laughs> Why is it so blurry? It's like bizarre, dude. <sighs> you can make it match the size of the of your conveyor belt sprite, make it the font size smaller, and then align it to the bottom right. That is exactly what I want to do. Yeah, okay. So... I mean, Factorio, they're pretty small, too. So, that's okay, I guess. Alright, let's make it, like... I mean, 31 picks... <laughs> doesn't look... It doesn't make me super happy. But, okay. Um, here, let me... Okay. In layout, I can... No? Okay, that's fine. Never mind. <laughs> I think it has a shadow or something uh, also in here. Yeah, I don't know shadow. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look great, but again, it doesn't need to look great. Okay, chat? <laughs> this is, is fine. It, it, again, this is all I needed to do. Like, as long as it's able to read my inventory and display it in a GUI, and then I can, you know, change shit around, I'm okay with it, you know? So, okay, my only issue with labels... I don't know if you know about this scent, uh, or if this is, like a, like, a known thing, or if I'm just using it incorrectly, but, uh, at least, personally, whenever I use them, uh, like... Labels lag the shit out of my game. Like, almost always, seemingly. Um, or, or when I'm constantly updating them, at least. Which, I, yeah, to me, it seems like they shouldn't be doing that. Uh, I guess I could just not constantly update them, but still, it sucks. <laughs> can I disable the anti Oh, can I? In filtering. Filtering? I mean, whatever. I, it looks fine when from from far away. It just I'm just surprised at how like slow it is. <laughs> you know? Actually, it's kind of slow. You probably shouldn't constantly update. Okay, that's fine. I, I it's just strange to me that it's so like how laggy it is. You know what I mean? That, that's all. Oh, what time is it in Japan right now, Alex? Is it, like, late o'clock, or is it early o'clock? Actually, well, the real question is, I mean... <laughs> I, I heavily doubt that you have decided and tried to fix your sleep schedule. It's not... Actually, you know what? You didn't have to. Your sleep was so fucked, it probably just fixed itself by going there. <laughs> oh, dumb. When I mean a line to the bottom right, I mean change it in the label properties. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like this. Okay, the spacing is a little bad. Um, I don't. <laughs> why is there so much? Is that not what this is? Line spacing. Well, okay, whatever. We can just make it a little bit bigger, huh? Like this. <laughs> My sleep schedule is the best it's ever been. Yeah, Izumi does the same thing whenever she goes, dude. She fucking... <laughs> she does the same shit, dude. And then, and then it's fixed. What's up, you master? You get the other bug fixed? Yeah, it's it's all working here. You know what? We'll do a quick demo for the people. Because I actually haven't... I don't think anyone here is like... All... Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I need creative mode. <laughs> I don't have creative mode right now. Okay, we turn on creative and we're Gucci, okay. There we go. So look, it's all working. It's all working, chat. It's all working good. Look at that, no, no vor. They all line up exactly how they should be. Uh, and I can do this. So, that's pretty fucking cool, huh? <laughs> Alright, you guys watch that. It's Subway, Subway Servers. Okay, I'm gonna go pee. Okay. What was the fix? Uh, it was, I mean, kind of a lot of things to fix. Not gonna lie. It would, not only would it take a while to explain it, I also don't really remember. <laughs> so. Uh, I, it was a lot of like, it was like, one part was making it so that, uh, like, uh, basically, if there's four items on a, on a conveyor, they should never add more. And then removing a lot of the safety checks I had, or not safety checks, uh, making so that all the safety checks happen every frame no matter what. So it is slower, but it's not that much slower. <clears throat> Rick's text label is just for displaying rich. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So it's just it's just for like italics and stuff, huh? <laughs> I mean, we don't need those for sure, yeah, but okay. Well. <laughs> It looks a little janky, the inventory does. I'd be lying if it just said otherwise. It definitely looks a little bit jank. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. So, can you click through the UI? Oh. Oh, actually, no, actually, I know how to fix that, I think. Uh, in here. Uh, 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 mouse. Stop. Right? <laughs> that fixes it? Right? I hope, at least. No, I definitely did not fucking fix it. <laughs> what the fuck is the point, dude? That...
Wait, the control will receive mouse movement input events and mouse button events if clicked on through GUI input. And the control will receive entered and exit. Oh. <laughs> um. Mouse stop should fix it, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, dude. Mouse- Oh, actually, no, you're right. I think- Well, no, 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 no. I'm using underscore input, though. You're not using control input for the game? Oh, is that a different thing? <laughs> Am I supposed to be? Oh, mouse stop and cut only works on other control nodes. Okay, whatever. Well. Yeah, I don't disagree. I think fixing it later is uh, the right call. Is there a way that I can lock this? So I can like not click it. Like I don't want to click this ever. Is there a way to do that? Like I don't ever want to be able to do this ever again. I want this to be locked in place forever. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like actually, I actually want like OBS functionality. Like an OBS. Like if I, if I never want to click this, I click the lock button and now no, look, I can't click it anymore. There's no there's no way to click this background, which is which is great. <laughs> That's like exactly what I want, dude. <clears throat> Click on the eye. The eye just hides it all. That's all it does. There's a lock item in your icon in your toolbar and another one for disabling slash selecting tilt. Oh, up here? Lock. Oh. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Okay, nice. Here, we'll lock this shit too. Locked. Lock. Is there a hotkey to do this? Control Shift L. Okay. All right. Well, so we still got. All, we've got a quite a lot of work still ahead of us. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna shoot just straight, chat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're not even close to like even one percent of this being done, right? Because this this whole thing here was just me learning how to like make this work just at all so we still got a lot of work ahead of us but that's okay <clears throat> oh you can disable selecting children oh 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 is that this nope wait this yeah okay let's just do that and now this whole thing's okay great there we go nice the whole thing's locked now <clears throat> okay, so unfortunately, I think I do need to make... I have this game UI layer thing here. But this is not game UI layer. <laughs> Unfor well, no, no, it... I mean... No, okay, it can be, it can be. All right, here, let me, let me rename this to Inventory Container. What I have to do is, rather than just toggling the whole damn thing in here, I need to do... Um, Get child. Uh, can I do it by its string? No. I actually don't understand. Like, uh, childing and stuff is something that I should know in Godot, but I really don't. Godot get child by name. Is it slow? <clears throat> get node. Dollar sign node name. What? <laughs> You're telling me I could just dollar sign inventory container? No, okay. I, I assume, no, no, that's, probably, that's probably all uh, only in GDS. So, okay, we have to do get path? Okay, this is, this is from like years ago. So let me not do that. Access a child, a node's child by name, not path or index. Get node takes a- oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I assume it's only a GDS thing. That's okay. We don't need it. Um, get node. It says I could just pass it in. Ah, right, whatever. 
Oh, node path. Wait, get oh get node, not get child. Okay. Uh so I wanna just do what? I just wanna do Inventory container. Is this okay, hold on. Uh <laughs> is this fast by node path? Cause okay, I could do it by um so essentially what I was so this this currently it sets the entire like this toggles the entire thing to be invisible and I only want to toggle this to be invisible. Like I know that get child I could do this. Right, I could do that and then put this at the top. I get that. But I feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> right? Like I greatly feel like I'm gonna fuck it up at some point. And it's gonna I'm gonna be like, oh what's happening? It's all broken. <laughs> So, if get node is slow, yeah, yeah, that seems like a bad idea, right? I mean, what I could also do is I could, uh, actually, that's probably, no, we should just do it that way. That's a way better way to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna do it this way. I've changed my mind. <laughs> uh, node 2D. Uh, inventory container. <laughs> okay, this is. <laughs> I've I've realized that I could just do it this way, and this is like a way. This is just a way better way to do it in the first place. Ah. Uh, oh, these are containers, right? Not no to do container. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened? All right. This one. There we go. <clears throat> but this is this is like a very easy way to do it. And probably the way I should do it anyways. Right click your node and give it a unique name. Right click. Access as unique name? Oh. Oh. So then I could do just this? I mean, here, let's just pause here and see if it gets it for real, right? This will be, this will be probably useful in the future. Um, but I'm always, I almost always try to do things, uh, this way. This way seems like way, way better, you know what I mean? At least in my opinion. Like, to me, this is how I've always done things, and it's always worked out for me in the past. Just take a reference to it, and it's good. It did not work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but why not? This node can be accessed from within anywhere in the scene by preceding it with the percent prefix and a node path. Yeah, let me just look it up. Do unique name. What the fuck is this shit, dude? That's what I did. Ain't it? Inventory container. Huh. Well, whatever. <laughs> I look, I got it. I I I I have the ability to get it like this, so I'm just gonna I'll keep it like this, but I will try to keep that in mind in the future, because that does seem like a decent thing. Like I'm almost assuredly gonna want to do that for the player, right? Like doing that for the player. Seems like a great idea. <laughs> Maybe even the inventory. Although, I mean, also at the same time, I... I feel like... Uh, for, for anything that's generated, I guess I should do it that way, right? But we'll figure that out later, okay? <laughs> now I should have just do inventory container dot visible uh, equals... Yeah, that. And now, hopefully, only the box is... Yeah, there we go. And then this stays. Good. Dude, why does my FPS suck? What the fuck? 2000? Yo, what happened, dude? What happened, man? 2000? <laughs> why is it so low?
Okay. I'm just gonna ignore this. I'm sure that it'll go up later. <laughs> uh, this is my FPS. And normally I'm at 3,000. Because I got a fucking... I've got a giga cracked PC. 2,000 is just it, like a little low. I don't know why... It got so much lower. I, yeah, I'm just gonna assume that it's nothing. Like, it happens a lot. So... And then it goes back up later inexplicably. So I'm just gonna assume that it's not, okay. Yeah, it definitely could be the label. Because this one, for the record, this label is being updated per frame. In like the worst way possible ever. <laughs> so I'm not going to disagree with you on that one. But here, we'll, we'll, we'll set up everything for real. And then if it's still lagging, then we can we can like profile. Because I don't, I don't want to profile right now. It's fine. Okay, so I want to add another container. I should have read through grid container. <laughs> Bro, I should have used that a hundred years ago for my inventory. Right, whatever. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's fine. Look, it's fine. Okay. You know what we did, chat? We learned. Okay. Learning is important. Okay. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Though. That sucks. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, again, it's fine because this is going to all go away anyways. This is all for learning purposes. None of this is going to stay. So it's fine, right? Well, okay. The texture rect will stay. This part will can, this part can go. Uh, okay. So I want to make an, another hungry box container. Um, this one... It's kind of weird to me that I can't, like... I don't know. It's weird to me that there's not just, like, a UI editor where I can lock things to the viewport. Because, like, I have to, like, pixel perfect this shit, which kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I guess I could, like, make a control that's the size of the thing and then do everything with the, uh... These? <laughs> the Jigglypuff container. <laughs> it's gonna pop off and pass out, chat. I like it. Like, this is like not centered, right? <laughs> like, I don't know how to fix this, dude. Uh, you know what? Actually, this is great. It'll let people be bothered, okay? So, there we've got a little hot bar. Uh, here, I guess I should probably define, like, so currently this is what? Uh, it doesn't say. Oh wait, transform. Transform. Okay, it's let's do six hundred by fifty. Okay. There. Use the bottom edge anchor pre. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. I'm understanding what anchors do, bro. I'm getting it. I'm understanding the universe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that, I mean, I don't know why I didn't think that would make sense, but it does. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what an anchor should do. It anchors this position. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, so I guess next I want to do the same thing as before. I want to add a texture rect. This being also anchored to the middle, right? Here, we, we load our background PNG and then we do not keep size. Ignore size, and then I give it a custom minimum size that is equal to this. So 600 by 50? 650. <clears throat> but then... Oh. 
Wait, but... This one doesn't have an anchor, right? How do anchors work on a child? I assume that they're the same as the parent. I mean, okay, what, what, if, I, what if I do this? Nothing changed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's it's what I wanted to do, so it's fine. Yeah, okay. Anchors don't exist on children. Okay, that makes, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that makes sense to me. So now inside of here, I want to add an image or a texture button. So I'm just trying to recreate the Factorio hotbar, essentially, right? Like that's or the Minecraft hotbar, right? <clears throat> Actually, I mm, no, no, no. It should be the Factorio hotbar because I, I want to, in Minecraft you can't unhold something. Factorio, I definitely want that to happen. I do not want to be holding a conveyor belt my entire life, right? Minecraft would be simpler, but again, like, the, like, I don't want to have to make it to that like. You know, like imagine Factorio, you have to have like, it's like I'm, I, instead of just pressing Q and disabling whatever I'm holding, I have to like press two and have an empty slot in my hotbar. I don't know, dude. <laughs> like <laughs> it seems like that'll become annoying very quickly. Conveyor belt curse of binding. <laughs> yeah, see, and who likes curse of binding? Fucking nobody is who. <laughs> Okay, so I want to ignore texture size, and then in the layout, I want anchors. And I want this to be center? No. Center left. No, but that doesn't... Wait. Why can I move this? Oh, this one has anchors. Wait, <laughs> why does it have? Hold on, what if I copy paste this in here? Oh, 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 I, I see, okay. Did, did these need to be out here? And this needs to be parented to this. There we go. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Okay, so now, oh, what the fuck happened? Oh, oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't know what happened and why these aren't the same exact size anymore. Weren't these the same size, like, five seconds ago? <laughs> oh, I just dragged it. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. This needs to be... <laughs> what? <laughs> 600. Size, 600. What? <laughs> Let me delete these. Oh, because Texture Wrecked is part of it. Okay, yeah. Right, right, okay, okay. So I need to add a child node, this time being a container. Uh, yeah, and then this goes inside of here, and so does this. And then this container, the anchors, are center bottom. And then... Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, delete this. Add in... A control node. Then, put these in here. Yeah, I, I think... I think in my mind, container is equal to control, and I understand that's not how it is. So now, this one, I want this to be anchored 
to the bottom middle. Okay, that did not work. Okay, hold on. Let me just do it over here. <laughs> Anchors preset bottom middle. Good. Then texture wrecked. This also should be bottom middle. Actually, no, this, this should be this should be center. Yes. Okay. Now where is this one? <laughs> oh, should this not be bottom middle? Bottom center. There we go, okay. Wrong toolbar button. It's the leftmost one in that area. They inevitably wait, they then inevitably with the circle icon. Oh. This one? Oh. Okay, I see. <laughs> wait, what? It should use the same one, dude. Whatever. Okay, it's fine. Um. Now the question is: Is where is my H box rectangle? Where the fuck is it? Why don't I see it? Here, let me let me add a texture button to it. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> where the fuck is it, dude? Okay, hold on. Quick load. Where? It's down here! <laughs> Yo! Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So now this needs to ignore the texture mode, and then I need to squeeze this back down. Here, I'll put this down. I'll put the size to zero. There. And then... Anchors. Bottom. Center. There we go. Okay, I don't know why the fuck it died. <laughs> That's fine. Now this one... I want to... Uh, in here, layout, custom minimum size should be, so I have 600, the width is 600, right? So if we make it a box, 600 divided by 50, 12. That's a big ass thing, dude. That's a big ass hotbar, 12? No, 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 that doesn't make sense. <laughs> a hotbar needs to be 9, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10, yeah, 1 through 0. Okay, uh, so let me do some math then. So the control or the texture vec, this min size should be. I mean, if I want to be 50 high, then it would be 50 times 10, uh, so 500. Is that does that look good? So just put in the texture rect on keep aspect. What does that do? Keep aspect. Um, aspect? Dude, why, <laughs> why does this not work? I <laughs> keep aspect will scale it while keeping its aspect ratio. Fitting in or fitting into the expand area it's forced into. In expand mode? <laughs> Is that not in layout? Layout, clip contents, direction, anchor preset, transform, position. Oh, at the top. In here. Okay. Keep aspect. It will scale it while keeping its aspect ratio fitting into the area it's forced into. But keep aspect and but why does it disappear? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, 
Oh, okay. I see what you mean. But in this case specifically, I actually do not want it to do that. <laughs> I do see what you mean. But yeah, I actually don't want it to do that in this case. Because um, this, again, when my UI art, like when I actually make UI art, then yes, that'll be important. But because currently, I'm literally like, <laughs> for the record, background.png, it looks like this. So the aspect ratio is totally off and wrong. Right, so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, so now the texture button. So how did I fix this with these again? So in layout, I made the custom number size 3030. And then I just made it 3030? Okay. <laughs> custom size 30 by 30. Transform. No. Was it in here? Using a PNG for the background. Oh, is there a panel node? <laughs> is that a thing? A style box. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just using a PNG. <laughs> Look, man, I... What can I say other than I would hate UI for... And maybe I hate UI because I don't know how to make it in the correct way. Okay. Look, in my exclamation point video on YouTube channel. All right. Let me just... For the uninitiated. <clears throat> Okay, uh, what the fuck is the finished video, dude? This one. I am- Okay, this is what my UI looks like for my high school game. These are all PNGs. <laughs> these are all- all of these are PNGs. Uh, every single click is a PNG. <laughs> and then, um... I think the insides aren't PNGs. I think, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> honestly, I do not remember. <laughs> Perfect UI is gonna win over. I'm sure it'll win. At the very least, it'll win like I don't know, some like a BAFTA or something, dude. The colors that I chose, and ne ne the world's never seen them before, ever. <laughs> okay, how the fuck did I do this again? <laughs> So these are 30-30 minimum size. I remember doing that. And then I set it to ignore texture scale. Scale. Uh, okay, 50 by 50. Okay. <laughs> Let me make them 40 by 40, I guess. And then... This should also be 40. And then I reset this to zero. Oh, actually no, this should be 45 and then this should be 450. Right. So that way, then I need to re-anchor it to the center bottom. Oh, actually no, this should just be, re now this should be anchored to the center. Nope, center top. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I mean, look, again, the texture wrecks will go away anyway, so it doesn't, it shouldn't matter, you know what I mean? They're gonna go away anyway, <laughs> so... Anchor to center is correct, but it, like I want it to be centered in this box, right? Oh, this should be 45. Something else wrong, probably some position offset in the control itself. This is just, this is just center bottom. Oh, transform. No? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see. So now, if I anchor this to the center, there we go. 
Okay, great. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, I will say that now my... I mean, okay. I gotta do some fixing with the, uh... The spacing of it. But yeah, okay. Okay. It's all making sense, chat. Dude. <laughs> I'm becoming the UI master. Master Ugwe, but Master Ui. I'll get back in a sec. Very slowly, step by step, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Lightly. Chat, this is the real reason to stream your game development, okay? Anyone out there who's like, oh, I shouldn't stream game. This is the real reason why. So that you can get someone who's way smarter and better at understanding what you're doing in your chat. <laughs> and then they can help you. <laughs> gonna name drop a node that's gonna make your UI design life a, lot, a, whole, a whole lot better. Nine patch wrecked. Nine patch wrecked. Nine patch. A control that displays the texture by keeping its corners intact, but tilting or tiling its edges in center. Oh. Okay, so I could do this instead of using texture rect. Well, <laughs> look, again, I'm sure that these a lot of things in here are good, but I, you know, I have it working. <laughs> you know, when we do a, uh, a quote unquote final pass, you know, maybe then I'll, uh, I'll do something else, but Till then... Okay, hold on. So let me just like... Paste, paste, paste. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> paste, 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 paste? I mean, it doesn't look awesome. I would be lying if I said it looks awesome. You know, I would <laughs> like, I don't know why the spacing is kind of off. Can I change the spacing in here? Like if I could just have it be slightly further apart, I'd be so happy, dude. <laughs> That should be a style setting. Uh... Not theme, I assume. I mean, what if I just make this bigger? What happens if I make this 500? No, okay. Oh. Okay, let me... <laughs> 
<laughs> at the way for a second. It kind of sucks. Like, if you're streaming any game engine, it's like everywhere is important. All four corners are used, you know? I should stream in the middle. That's where I should put my face cam to. <laughs> That'll help me so much more. <clears throat> Under theme, theme overrides. Oh, separation. This guy? Aha, okay. Five. Wow, that worked out so well. <laughs> On the first try? He's a genius, chat! Okay. I mean, it's a little bit close to the edges. Like, if I wanted to finagle it, I could and get it to look good. But again, this is all temporary, okay? Master guesstimator indeed. Dude, <laughs> you weren't here earlier, but I like almost color picked the background Godot color <laughs> It just didn't paint on accident and then I fucking couldn't tell if I made UI or not. That was crazy. That was actually crazy Okay, so Now Okay so the texture button should always be here. Always, always, always be here. Let me undo all the textures. Let's just kill them all, right? Um, let me, let me think about this, right? So, each of these is gonna need, like, uh, one of these guys, right? Like an empty box icon, right? We're definitely gonna need, like, an empty box icon. And then, the texture will change to whatever is there. And I'm also going to need to add a label in every single spot. I mean, you know what would be great, actually? Uh, is there a way that I can just, like, create this on its own and then recreate that where the fuck? Like, because, like, theoretically speaking, I would want this, these three, to be, like, made together. And then I could just create that for all ten of the buttons, right? <clears throat> oh, I can do that? Oh. <laughs> can I just... Ah. <laughs> okay, that would have been a little faster, huh? Well, whatever. I can't... Okay, what is the... I mean, you don't have to explain it to me, you know, word by word if you don't want to. But, uh, like, what do I... What do I look at... What do I look up, at least, to find out where the fuck I can... How to do that? Because <clears throat> the way I've been doing this before is I just use a scene... Oh, I, I do. I do use a scene. Okay. Wait, so, if, so I, I make this its own scene. Can I just like, oh, instantiate. Oh, 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 that's crazy. Go crazy. Okay. 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 So we just copy this new scene, 2D scene. Alrighty. I got this, and then texture button. Okay, my sprite 2D is not here. <laughs> well. Weapon. <laughs> oh no, it is here. See? I color picked it, bro. I told you. I color picked this shit, dude. I <laughs> Look at how close it is. It's like identical. God. Okay. Oh, oh, you're right. There should be a. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, okay. Discard this. Don't save. New scene. User interface scene. Uh huh. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. It is there. I just can't see it because I fucking somehow color picked it to be a exact, dude. It, I. I don't know, I mean, here. Can you tell there's a difference between this area and this area? 
You might not be able to because they're so close. Because <laughs> they are so close. On Twitch, I can barely see it, but it is there. No? <laughs> Insane, dude. Okay. Um, let me lock all of this, actually. Ah. Okay, that's, 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 that's fine. I want to be able to move it all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun fact, you don't even need the control parent in the scene. You can just paste immediately. Oh. Well, I guess I do want it to be in a control, though, so I can move it all and, like, scale it up and down and stuff, right? So I guess it's, that's okay. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. Um... <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Save this now as... I guess I'll make, like, scenes, and then in here I'll make a UI scenes, and then this will be item, or inventory item, inventory item. Okay. You should make the control parent properly sized. Oh. Uh, can I just use an anchor? Full rect. Top left. Nope. <laughs> uh, oh god. What the fuck happened? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is huge. Center? Oh god, nope. <laughs> Why is it giant? Oh, it's the size of the viewport. Okay. So I should size it about... About like that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Also, I'm realizing now this is a way better way of doing this. And then the texture button inside of the Sprite 2D. Uh, this needs to... Layout. Center. Uh... Why are they the same size? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do it that way. Because <laughs> the sprite needs to be over, or it needs to be bigger than it, right? Like. You can put all the anchors in the top left with a total size of zero to make sure the parent you're instantiating the scene into doesn't affect your, affect your instance's size. Put all the anchors in the top left with a total size of zero. It's just top left like this. Okay, so then this guy... Why... <laughs> What if I make it 25 by 25? What happens then? <laughs> okay, no, no, I see. So this, I don't know why this... Or wait, fuck, dude. I guess, yeah, I think that's the problem. I've, I'm, this should not be a sprite 2D and it should be a texture rect. Yeah, 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 okay. So... Texture rect. Then this one should be load art UI item button.png. 
And it is there, right? Yeah, okay, it's there. Dude, I need to, like... I, <laughs> I need to, like, make this less stupid, bro. Alright, so now texture wrecked. This should be layout. Minimum size should be... So this, this should be... Oh... Are these the same size in Factorio? They look about the same size. I think they are. I think these are exactly identical. <clears throat> I assume that this is the same as this, so I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to- I'll make my hotbar the same exact size. So this will be- what is my hotbar? Um... One of these, what's the minimum size? 45 by 45? Oh, I don't. <laughs> okay. Look, the sizing and stuff will come later, okay? It's probably sucks, but... So this is 50 by 50. The texture button is then 45 by 45. And then this should now be centered. And then the label should be anchored to the bottom right. <clears throat> and then move down just a bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's exactly why I want to do that, is so I can use this, I can use this everywhere. Um... Yeah, yeah. And I will say, I don't know why this doesn't just work, but okay, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so if I save this and now I go in here and I, here, let's delete this guy, right? And then I instantiate child scene, uh, inventory item.tscn. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Okay, it looks wrong, chat. Not because it is wrong, <laughs> but because all right, it looks like it's see-through because of the uh the what do you call? The, um, the background's the same color, but it's not. So this needs to be moved up a bit. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. This needs to be 45. I'm realizing. This should be 45. And then this inside should be 40, I guess? And then... Reset the chain the size and then recenter. There we go. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> no, I think the margins I think that the, the anchor is actually okay. It's just because the um it's okay, so if I delete all these and then I instantiate child scene this one. Oh, okay. okay. So delete this guy and then paste this 10 times, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, I mean, <laughs> it's something at least, right? Although now inside of here, uh, this should not be textured. It should have no texture. Yeah. Okay. And also, oh, this should be... The label should be zero. <laughs> Actually, the label should be invisible, I guess, right? Oh, shift D to duplicate node in the same place. Shift D. 
control D? Ah, control D, okay. Is that the min size within the scene probably? Yeah, these, well, so the, the hot bar I think I'm just gonna have, uh, these are gonna actually exist forever. Like this. Rather than trying to do anything fucking cute, you know what I mean? Like, these will just exist in, in, in the game permanently. Uh, and be updated by something. And then these ones in the inventory will be generated at runtime. I think that's my plan, at least. It seems like an okay plan. <laughs> Seems like it might, it might maybe do something good. Okay, so then this, well these shouldn't be named control, I guess. I guess this should probably be named like inventory item. Does that change the names? Okay, so this, this will be hotbar one. Uh, <laughs> okay, we gotta kind of go through. Okay, can I do this and then rename them all? Come on, dude! Come on, bro! Seven, eight, <laughs> nine, and then this will be hot bar zero. Okay. Well, I have some insane defaults within, within your item inventory scene. Maybe... I mean, I, I don't know, actually, because I want it to be empty, right? Like... It should be empty by default, right? And then, and then I can populate it with stuff when I need to, right? Shouldn't it be empty? Insane defaults is insane minimum size and stuff. Oh, is it not set to that already? Isn't it set to to be there? Good. <laughs> oh, I this is not set. Okay, I see. Ah. <laughs> Weapon. <laughs> what happened? Where did it go? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I, said, I forgot to set it for, for up here, but what happened here? The anchor just die? Center. Hey. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> Is it just all ordering? No. Oh wait, no, I'm just- <laughs> I forgot. They don't have anything. That's right. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just- <laughs> Wait, why were they there? Were they not there the first time? Okay, whatever, it's fine. I- I'm losing it. Don't worry, chat. <laughs> don't worry about me, I'm just fucking losing it. It's fine. Okay. Well, okay, I guess I could try to get the hotbar just, like, working. Cause- cause I- I definitely- I mean, you know. If I'm going to be instantiating the same item, or the same thing, it should be fine. Yeah, 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 I'm just, I'm just dumb, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I swear I saw them for a second, which is why I was like, where'd they go? But I, I think I was just, again, I think I'm just fucking losing it. <laughs> I'm losing it, man! Okay. But yeah, I think I want to get this working. Well, um... Actually, no, yeah, okay, because, okay, because in Factorio, right, if I click this from my inventory, I can use it. Same if I click this, like, I can use anything, like, yeah, yeah, theoretically, these should, these work the exact same way, uh, in-game. And I think I do want to copy that functionality. I think I, like, because, I'll be honest with you, I don't use my hotbar in Factorio. <laughs> <laughs> like here, let me let me let me open my real world. Uh, which did, did they go big, go home, or not home? This is the world I played on for like a while, like just solo by myself. And um, the only thing I use my hotbar for is conveyor belts. Everything else is whatever, dude. 
Wow, it's loading a long time. Holy shit. I mean, it's a decent sized world, but what the fuck is going on? Did it crash? Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, like, like, this is all, like, I click on my hotbar, unironically. And I, uh, I, <laughs> again, all I use is one for conveyor, and then I click everything else from my inventory. Again, maybe I'm crazy, but that's just the way I did it. Okay. <clears throat> Go Big Nuts Home is an amazing role for a name. I appreciate it, dude. I mean, this is my first, like, every time I played Factorio, I always made, like, kind of a dog shit world. I tried making this one better. It's still pretty dog shit. Uh, but this is by far the best one I've made. Uh, the only issue is, like, basically my own, like, my biggest problem in this world is just getting oil. And uh, I don't want to secure new sp new plots of oil because it's just I don't know. <laughs> Eventually, capturing resource plots uh, in Factor gets a little boring, uh, so I just kind of stop playing this world. But I mean, like, okay, when it's running, it makes like some 200 SPM or something. It's not horrible. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and then we go back to Autosave three. But yeah, I think I do want. I, I want to do the same thing. Uh, where the inventory and the hotbar are the same. The only difference is that the hotbar lets you access these fast, right? <clears throat> okay, so... Let me just try to... You know, you know, you know what we'll do? Nah, I lied. <laughs> I, I was gonna do the inventory first, or the hotbar first. I'm doing the inventory first. I lied, okay. So I'm actually gonna just hide all these <laughs> and try again, okay? With the grid, not the grid map, grid container. <clears throat> so what does this guy do? This node is a child of a child of container, yeah, uh-huh, of this guy, which is full rec, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, the same. Well, Terraria style is a little bit different, but uh, yeah, as in, in the fact that you know, like I said, they're, they're, you can use everything from inside your inventory. That, that, that's how I want it to be, because that's the way I play Factorio. Like again, I want to be able to you know have multiple as, like myself play the game and also people who like using the hotbar, who aren't clinically insane, you know. <laughs> okay, so how the fuck does this thing does this thing work? Got a custom minimum size, yeah. And this one is 420 by 4. Okay, so I want to make this 400 by 400. Oh, actually, I guess since now that I have a, D, I have a, I have a, actually have a set size, which is 45. Hmm. Okay, so these should be multiples of that then. So this should be 500 by 500. And then this should be 450 by 450. Oh no 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 no! They, they should they, okay. Hold on. This should be 500 by 500. And then this should be like 520 by 520. Okay. Put it like that, which is why I mentioned it. Yeah, I, I do the same. I <laughs> I am definitely a uh, well. Okay, <laughs> in Terraria, when I play it like that, though, sometimes it gets bad because I fucking start throwing dynamite just everywhere because <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I it shouldn't be a square, also, by the way. But <laughs> again, once again, okay, we're gonna fix it in post, okay. We'll fix it in post. <clears throat> is this centered? I guess it is. It just looks like it's not because the hotbar's there. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So... Grid container. Right. Okay, so how the fuck does this work? So let's just start adding... Instantiate child scene... Inventory item. Okay. Okay. Let's not do that, huh? <laughs> Maybe left to right? 
Nope. <laughs> um... Oh, columns! Oh, okay, hold on. So, uh, there should be 10. Should, this should be a 10 by 10 inventory. Okay, okay. Yeah, 10. And now I do this. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, then I need the spacing. So, where was that again? <laughs> uh, was that in theme overrides? Okay, yeah. So, grid container. Theme overrides. H separation five. Uh, okay, I could try a little bit more. <laughs> uh, let's try like six. Six looks better. I guess now I duplicate again. Alrighty. I really hate that it looks like I've got like there's like cutouts, <laughs> but it's just because there's no background, dude. Okay, here you know what you know what you know what. Let's just really fucking quickly. Okay. <laughs> just just to make sure, right? Ordering negative one thousand. Quick load or just load in art. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm doing? Factorio. I'm just gonna take a PNG of Factorio and slap it in the back, dude. <laughs> Save this. Actually, nah, that's that's stupid. It's gonna confuse me. Let me just let me just instead of doing that. I will just, uh, here, I'm gonna put my fucking thumbnail behind it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There. Now it's not, it's not, uh, what do you call? No, there's no more cutouts. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Use an editor only reference? <laughs> Wait. Oh, e editor only reference wrecked. Editor only reference rect? A rectangle hint for designing UIs. <laughs> oh, is it literally just like a thing so you can see? Yeah, okay, okay, I see. <laughs> I mean, it, it, this would be useful when I'm trying to like actually get things to work. I, get, I just don't like, the only reason I'm adding this is because I don't like that the background is the same color as this, you know what I mean? So I'm just putting this in so that it doesn't look like cutouts. Now it looks like it's, uh, you know, it looks like it's what it's supposed to be, <laughs> right? So, okay, and now that I think about it, actually, Factorio, the, the slots are there by default. No, but no, no, that, that's right. I don't actually want, I don't want, ah, but do I? Mm. No, I do. I do want the boxes there. <laughs> it's gonna look so stupid, dude. I just duplicate this fucking 900 times. Okay, look, we'll do it later. Okay, <laughs> we'll do it later. All right. For now, we'll just have one row. Okay, because I don't. I don't even have. I don't even have 10 items in my game yet. Oh, add a reference rec to your inventory item to make it prevent it look like cutouts. Oh, don't do that, please. <laughs> it's not a terrible idea, actually. Well, eh. This is funnier. <laughs> this is a much funnier solution to the issue I have, so. <clears throat> okay, okay. So. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna get these at. I mean, that's so weird, dude. Let's just try to get this to reflect the inventory. All right, that's what we'll do first. Before we even click and drag and add all that shit, just get it to at least show up with the item count 
and the oh actually hmm. so factorio has some default like i don't know how they sort your items by default but like there's some sorting algorithm i mean I, well, okay <laughs> i guess it doesn't have to be an algorithm i guess i could just fucking you know like I have in here this item list. I could just sort by this. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, uh... no, that's gonna suck ass. Well, okay. Okay, technically, all right, all right, all right. If I do it the smart way, then then it'll be fine. It just means I'm gonna ha I'm going to have to make an item editor that then spits out this itemless.json file for me. I'm gonna have to learn how to use PyCutie. Which sucks, dude, because I hate I hate UI. And I'm gonna have to do UI for my 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 UI. <laughs> which again that's it's it's balls, but <sighs> I mean, it's, if I'm gonna make this game for real, it'll be the best way to do it. And I can just sort by this way. It's fine. Okay. You know that Minecraft your mouse cursor is an inventory slot? Wait, what? <laughs> Minecraft cursor is an inventory slot? That's crazy, dude. Because they're using resources instead. So, okay, I looked into resources a little bit, but I actually have no clue like really what this means <clears throat> cuz like i looked at this i looked at like i i i looked up how to like essentially instantiate a script but <clears throat> well okay i was i was about to ask I was about to ask, why is it better than using JSON? And it says, this comes with many dis distinct advantages over our alternative data structures such as JSON, CSV, or custom text files. Users can only import these assets as a dictionary or as a file access to parse. What sets resources apart is their inheritance of object, ref counted, and, re and resource features. They can define constants, they can define methods. Methods. Oh. Oh, that is nice, actually. Yeah, so if I change shit in here, the getter and setter doesn't get fucked, huh? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well... <laughs> the only issue is I just overhauled my item system to already, like, handle it. Uh, and I'm also, like, comfortable. I mean, there it, that does seem useful, right? Because now if I ever want to change, like, if I ever want to do another, like, overhaul my item system, I have to change all the underlying code for it, which sucks. So I'm kind of locked in. I mean, it would be very future-proofing, which is what I, like why we're day nine still barely anywhere because of future-proofing. But <sighs> I think I'm gonna hold off for now. If anything, we can come back later. Yeah, it's way less to rewrite. I mean, honestly, if I knew about this earlier, I probably would have started like with this. I mean, it would it would have taken a while to get to like work, but. I mean, it's okay. I think that, I mean, like, again, if I, if I already didn't, like, kind of fix the item system, maybe I would. But it's already kind of good uh, and, like, pretty reliably easy to expand in the future. Because uh, I made it in a, kind of a shit way. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Like I said, I think in the future, if I decide that I'm going to need a lot of ways to fix that, then, you know... Custom resources are one of the easiest things to get to work in Godot. I mean, I'm sure they're... Well, it, it's it's more getting them to work with the constraints I've already set up is probably going to take a hot minute, I assume. <clears throat> I 
I mean, again, if it's if it's that fast, then eventually we'll just go back and do it anyways, right? I think for today, I would like to focus on getting the UI slightly working. I don't know about fully working because it's 36, but I also woke up really late today. You know, so <laughs> I I'm, I've got the kip, the capacity to work until later. Because normally I stop programming streams like around like seven or eight because that's already pretty late. But again, I woke up fucking woke up at like 1 p.m. today because I don't know why, dude. <clears throat> no, no worries. I actually, I mean, again, this is a great resource to have here, right? Like using, I mean, <laughs> resource, dude. No, but uh, I think that this is. I mean, again, this is a great thing to know. I again, I think eventually I'll probably come back to change it again, unless I'll, I'll probably change it to use this the second I have to change it. You know what I mean? And then if it's fast and it works, then fucking sicko dicko mode, right? But if it don't, then you know we got we got problems. So okay, so uh, how do I want to get this to work? Just like at all, dude? <laughs> how do I want how do I want this to function? I mean, okay, let's let's start out with just getting the item, one item in my inventory to show up in the UI, right? Yeah, sure, just drop, yeah, just, just drop, drop it whenever. I'll, if I don't watch it, remind me and I'll watch it on stream. <laughs> Cause you know, look, I, I may have a Discord and I, I do use it and I like, uh, you know, I pay attention to it more than any other Discord I'm in, but that don't mean that, <laughs> it, like, more than anything is more than zero, because every other Discord I've, like, look, my fucking, my main Discord account that I use, it has the Discord, my friend's server, a server for me to send myself files from my phone, and then useless servers that are all fucking, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Okay, inventory UI.cs needs to not be a label, first of all. That needs to not be... Uh... Where the fuck? Oh, this guy. Yeah. This needs to be deleted. Actually, here. You know what? Well... This needs to be... Oh wait, no wait. Inventory UI.cs, game UI.cs. Should these be the same? Do I want to make? Do I do I need this, or should I just have game UI.cs be its own thing? I mean, I should probably make inventory UI like an API of some sort, <clears throat> and then game UI just calls said API. I mean, that's like the cleaner way to do it, right? It's like, <laughs> you know, how how you should do this. If you're trying to be like a smart guy, you know, and again, working with other people. <laughs> nah, that's probably what I'll do. That's, that's probably what I'll do. <clears throat> yeah, okay. All right. So this needs to then, I guess it could just be its own class, right? It doesn't even need to be like a script attached to anything. This is just its own thing. Oh wait, no, I had, oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay, inventory UI.cs. No, 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 inventory UI.cs should be attached to the grid container. Yes. This should be attached here. Okay. Inventory UI load. And then this should now not be a label, but it should take from a grid container. And then I I fucking turned off <laughs> Dude, okay. I I use plus as my toggle uh what do you call? My toggle streamer mode button. And I need to not do that, because I use the numpad like unironically to like do addition all the time. <laughs> 
thankfully, I don't get pinged very much, so it's fine, but... Anyway, that wasn't your Discord chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so in here... So we have access to the inventory. I guess, okay. What I should do is probably just have, like... Okay, it's either like a dirty flag, that then every time the inventory changes, I update the UI. Or, every time the inventory changes in here, it calls something for the UI to update. I think I want to decouple them. Decoupling them seems easier to me, and it's not going to be that laggy. Like, updating the inventory every time, or every frame. Like, if I place an item every frame, and I have to update the UI, it's like, whatever, right? No, I turned it off again. <laughs> I, I re-toggled it. It's just whenever I press plus, it toggles it off, so... Yeah, I was thinking about either doing a signal... Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm, either, I'm, I'm thinking about either doing a signal inside of, e of each of these calls that then updates the UI, or just having some dirty flag. Eh, signal's actually probably better anyway, now that I think about it. Now that I really think about it, yeah, 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 that's better. Okie doke, so... In... Take item... This needs, this needs to send an, a, a, a signal, and an add item needs to send a signal, okay. Add item, so in here. Wait, no. Down here, okay. <clears throat> so take item. Well, I guess we should set up the signals first, right? Signal. How do I do that again? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this shit? Okay, whatever. How do I do this? So it's, I just copy this over. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then item. Given and item taken, and then it'll be the int ID and the int count. Okay, no, it's not copilot. I mean, it's just Visual Studio, like. They got some kind of machine learning something uh, just built into VS now, apparently, in 2022. Because this is... I haven't... It wasn't there when I used any other version. <laughs> and it's kind of good. I've never used Copilot before, so I don't know how good that is either, but <laughs> I don't know. I, like, it's nice sometimes, basically. That's That's what I'll say about it, right? Okay, so now I need to eat. Or actually, okay, so first I need to build this .NET project. And then now in here. Oh, inventory UI. Okay, hold on. I assigned this to player inventory. Then player inventory is signals item given. Yeah, okay. So I want to connect these to. <clears throat> Yeah, I want to connect these to the inventory <laughs> container. Now the grid container. This guy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can connect via script. Is it? Is that better to do? <laughs> I'm. I always just did it the. Uh, you know, this way. I mean, <laughs> okay. This is the one thing that really sucks about working in C sharp and Godot. I don't know if you've used. If you're. If you're. You know. If you're a GDS user. Uh, which, again, I'm sure that is good, but I like C. <laughs> it makes me feel good, you know what I mean? Uh, but when you do it through the UI, and you do like this, and then I connect this to the grid container, on player 
Inventory item given. You do this, it doesn't put it there. <laughs> it, it doesn't do it, bro. It sucks. I don't know why it doesn't put it there. Uh, which is Omega cringe. But what are you gonna do, I guess? Okay, so it's. How do I. Okay. On tile entity removed. Okay, so I, it's a private void, and then I on player inventory item given or taken, and it takes in int id int count. Okay, I like C proceeds to use the equivalent of Java. Well, okay, it's like Java, but I, you know, I can slap some C code in there and it still works. Okay, again, I, I think the amount of things that I use that are C sharp only is very, very small. And again, that's a lack of knowledge, not even like a lack of, not even, not even just a pure hatred for, for anything that's not C plus plus. But like most C code just works in C sharp. So that's why I like to use it. <laughs> All right, so I copy paste this again, and then this is item. I guess I'll do given first and then taken after. Okay, given. And then I gotta do the same shit. Item taken connect to this guy. On player inventory item taken. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so whenever I give my okay, so I should okay. First things first, I should always be using these then, always. So rather than just doing inventory .add, I should be doing uh, give. What did I call that? Oh, add. Why is this add? <laughs> give item. Okay. Oh, that just seems to be give item also. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now I should give item, and I should be able to, I can make the same call, and this will add. Conveyors to my inventory at the beginning of the of the game. Probably, <laughs> probably. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then yeah. And then in here. Now it'll do the thing, <laughs> right? Right? It just it just does the thing. It gets called. Okay. Uh. Okay. How the fuck do I do this? <laughs> how the fuck? How the fuck do I do this, bro? Okay. So, I have access to my children that I own. Uh. I guess I just check. Well, okay. I do want to do some something similar because like look you know as much as I love Minecraft love Terraria you know you know what I really fucking love in Factorio is the ability to have your inventory sorted that is such a godsend like like <laughs> it's actually crazy like it, it's crazy how bad my inventory always looks in Minecraft and Terraria and I definitely want to keep that functionality even if there's not, like, again, I'm not gonna have, in, like, I, I don't think I want inventory management as, like, a thing in my game. Even without inventory management as a thing, having it so they're all still connected, like, compacted, it's just gonna make it look 5,000 times better. So, I wanna do something pretty simple. Oh, it's pretty pretty similar to this, not simple. But, I mean, I'll, I mean, keep it simple, right? Ferrari has a sort button. Yeah, but then, like, I use the sort button and I swear it like fucks with my <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay, here's here's the you know what the difference is? Is that Terraria if, if Terraria had an auto sort button, it'd be great. Because the only problem is that in Terraria then I'm like, oh I have this item in my bottom right inventory, and then I press sort and then it's not there anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, like it might sound stupid, but I'm stupid. So <laughs> you gotta remember that, okay? It's a very important part of the process. I'm gonna go get water. I'll be back in a sec. But yeah, I want to do something similar to this. Um, and again, I think I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sort while using this. That seems like the easiest, best way for me to do it. Again, it does mean I'm probably gonna have to make some sort of tool 
to do it, but uh, you know, it's all right. If I look again, if I get to the point where I have to make a tool, that means that I'm probably going to actually finish the game. Probably. I I can't imagine me making a tool and then I don't finish it. So. I'm just here trying to get freaking water from my Brita. Fucking, I don't know what's going on over there, dude. <laughs> like, my fridge is too cold. It froze half of it. What? <laughs> it's it's never happened before. My our fridge is like, oh, okay, our fridge is like old and breaking, which is probably, I mean, maybe that's actually, that's probably, that's probably why. <laughs> but, you know. <clears throat> Usually then you spend too much time working on the tool and don't get anything done. <laughs> yeah, that's also very fair. Like, it's the same as like whenever I try to automate like any anything ever. You know, like, why automate something that would take five hours when I could spend f uh, three weeks debugging why it's not <laughs> my automation tool is not working, huh? <clears throat> that's okay though, because like here's the thing: the reason why it'll be fine is because that tool will be having. I I'll have to make. I think I'm gonna have to use PyQt, and I hate PyQt, which guarantees that I won't work on it for that long. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, over refrigerant. I don't know what happened. I mean, I hope it's not like breaking, or I mean, because this our fridge is old enough. I mean, okay. I don't know. I'm sure it has a temperature control inside of it somewhere, where I can like manually say don't, don't do it too cold, or don't or do it too too or you know the other way around. But um. You know. Why can't you make the tool in Godot? Oh. 
Oh. I guess I could. <laughs> oh, that's weird, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute, dude. Um... I mean, yeah, I guess I could. And I could make it really shit then! Because it doesn't need- <laughs> it doesn't need to run at all! On other people's PCs, it's only for me! Unless I want to make mod to- You know what, if- if- if I actually make this game, and then people want to make mods for the game, they can make the Godot tool them. I'll give them the source code for that part, dude! <laughs> My first Godot application was a tool? Really? Wait, for like, for another game or another project? I mean, I guess it is just like a way to make UI, huh? I guess? It's so weird for me to think about though. <laughs> I... Yeah, okay, maybe I will then. I don't know. That's... I don't know why I never thought about doing it that way, but yeah, it's not bad. A sprite mapping tool? Huh. <laughs> was it- was it another- wait, 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 are you like, cross-breeding engines? Like, you're using Unity for the game and then using Godot for the tool? <laughs> That's- I mean, you know, I- <laughs> Actually, here's the real question. If- does- if you do that, do you have to give Godot money? Or like, okay, let's say I use Unity to create a tool for my custom engine game. Right? Do I have to give Unity money? I mean, I'm sure somewhere in their licensing it says so, but what if I just... How they gonna catch me, you know? <laughs> if it just exports a JSON file, like... <laughs> they would never know. Unless they have some, like... Weird way to figure it out. Wait, you don't have... Wait... Godot is free to... Always? Wait, wait, wait... Wait, <laughs> hold on. No, 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 no. There's a, there's a pricing model, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, here. <clears throat> what? Wait. Oh, oh, this is, oh, this is, oh, this is when Unity shit the bed. Oh. Wait, how do they make money then? You are free to f license your games how you best see best fit and will be their sole copyright. What the fuck? Wait, wait, what? I actually didn't, I legit didn't know that. I thought that, wait, how do they... They only make money by donations? <laughs> Look up the Godot Foundation. A solid foundation to build upon. The Godot Foundation is a Dutch non-profit organization registered as Stitching Godot that financially supports the Godot project and open source game engine. The foundation was formed on 23rd of August 2022, the administer charitable donations that will, are made to the Godot, Godot engine. That's crazy! That's crazy! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? That's legit insane, dude. I had no idea. Okay. Well. <laughs> you know, if I make a game in it, I'll give him something at least. Engine is completely free and you own it and can do anything you want with it. That's insane. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, that's a great reason to go to Godot, because now, I mean, I've always said personally, like, I mean, I, I, I love custom engines, okay? I've been, a, I've made, like, I don't even know how many custom engines now, like, at least five or six. At least, okay, started. <laughs> I don't know if I've made anything with it, but, you know. Uh, but I've always said that, like, I would love a custom engine, like, starting spot of just, like, it has a graphics render and it can make a window, because, like, dude, making, like, I don't know, like, 
using like OpenGL and GLFW and all that shit, it sucks. It sucks Omega Balls. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> um, and Godot is kind of that. I mean, not entirely. Like, again, it has it, it comes with a lot of stuff still. Uh, but like, I don't know. That's crazy. I, <laughs> I didn't know. That's insane. So if I make a trillion dollars with Godot, I don't have to give them my cut. I mean, I still have to give the cut to Steam, but you know, whatever. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's actually crazy. That is so crazy. What the fuck? That's so crazy. That is so insane. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, well, I, I'm like legit, like I'm, I'm mind blown right now, man. <laughs> I can't. That's insane. That's so crazy. I mean, you know, I was like, you know, because I know Unreal, they take a cut, obviously, but their cut's pretty. It's pretty nice, right? Like it's not bad. I'm pretty sure. UE5 pricing model. Yeah, right. So you can make a million dollars. Uh, before they take any money, which that's not bad, and it's a 5% roll. That's nothing. 5%? Who gives a shit, dude? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I assumed it was gonna be something similar. Not just free forever. I mean, I really hope that, like, they don't pull a Unity ever then. <laughs> but yeah, it's not bad. This is, like, this one's also not terrible. <clears throat> I mean, I know you. I I I actually have I've I I have Godot built on, on my PC because I uh you know I I had to I had to test some shit out in the inside, so Godot is legally unable to pull Unity. They're a foundation and they're open source. I guess that's true. It'd probably get sued because they have a thing, like they're 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 non-profit, right? So I, I guess worst comes to worst, right? What would happen is if they lost all their funding is they would just stop developing the engine and it would be as it is open source forever free to use like that is the worst possible case scenario right <clears throat> not just so they or wait they can't because they're open. i mean ue5 is open source right right ue5 github I, I I think this is the full the full thing. Oh, <laughs> or or not? <laughs> is it not? Oh, I have to join the Epic Team game. Ah, okay, whatever. <clears throat> It's okay. I ain't, I ain't making no pull requests. What do you think I'm a real developer out here? The fuck? <laughs> Look what I'm doing. <laughs> you think you think someone who writes code like this is <laughs> making a pull request? Nah. Yeah, I mean it's still like if UE5 they did something crazy like Unity did, you could still use it for free that way. But I, again, I think that they probably have. Some way to know that any game's made in UE5 and they just, you know, then they'll sue you. So. But yeah, I do wonder if you use Unity to make a tool or UE5 to make a tool. Like. I mean, I, I'm sure it's illegal, but how would they ever know? <laughs> okay, anyways. <clears throat> Back to, like, figuring out my shit. <laughs> that is staggering. That is still crazy. So, inventory items. So I need to basically get one of them. And then... Do something. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, if you're not distributing the tool, then it should, shouldn't matter. Like, I... It's free for me to make whatever I want to if it's just for me. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. I <laughs> All right, so on on an item given. Uh, first, I guess I just check to see if the item 
exist. Ah. Okay, I should probably have like two extra. Eh, nah, it doesn't matter that much. I don't know. I was, I was thinking about having two extra signals for one for like new item given to, you know, create a new box. Or not create a new box, but grab a new box. And then the same for last item taken. So I can, I know to f delete the box. I mean, it's not, I don't know. That, that might be like way over optimization. I mean, it's not that hard to implement, but still. <clears throat> Cause currently what I have to do, so I have to do four. Or how do I get, get children? Yeah, okay, so I just, I just like, var, not var, wait, yeah, var, children, I, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not losing it. Can't believe you just only found out Godot is free, I don't know, I, I literally picked Godot just because of the Unity shit, like, I mean, also I wanted to learn it, because I, I mean, like, I think realistically speaking, UE5 should just make a 2D, like, version of their engine, and then remove the hard-coded gun, and then, like, they win, right, like, Unreal Engine just wins if they do that. I, I honestly, I don't know why they haven't. Like, I don't know why they limit themselves to only shooter game and like a couple others. It's just, I don't know, it's bizarre to me. I'm not entirely sure why. <clears throat> okay, so if uh, child is player inventory, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely what I need to do. So if, um, what can I get from child? Cause this is this is a control. Like, so I guess I should do vi like control equals child as control. <clears throat> Cause I'm currently getting Not much is what I'm getting. Okay. I need to get I need to get the children of the child. I need to get my grandchildren. Is that what they call it? Is that a real term? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think so. But like, this is this is not real. No. <laughs> I don't think anyone would call this. <laughs> the correct node. <laughs> but I'm going to. For each. <laughs> it knows! No way! Dude! How does it know? That's crazy! <laughs> Here, I'm gonna type. I'm gonna, uh, there'll be G children. And G child. Because I don't want to type. I don't take that much, it's too much. It is a valid term? Okay, I... <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, I've, I'm a, I just use Python and shit, dude. Well, no, so I, I understand UE is not built for 2D. Like, it's horrible for using... Like, if you're gonna make a 2D game and you're using UE, I don't know the fuck is wrong with you. But I'm saying, why doesn't Epic Games, like... Why don't they push more into... Uh, like, why doesn't it push more into making it 2D viable? Like, the tools are there, I feel like. Because, like, okay, for example, right? Every 2D game before Godot was made in Unity. And Unity is a 3D engine. Like, I hate making 2D games in Unity. Because when I look at the inspector, and it's like a stupid, just flat plane. I think it looks stupid. <laughs> uh, but they could do, totally do the same thing. And, like, and again, wouldn't they just win? They'd have infinite money, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know. It just seems to be like such a good idea. Like, I know that it's like all hard coded to be gun game, but still. Can't be that bad. <clears throat> Unreal wants to look unreal. <laughs> it's harder to do in 2D. Okay, okay. Make real engine, and that's the 2D version. <laughs> okay, so, um. Hmm. 
How do I want to do this the right way? It's like, okay, I'm going to get the child of the texture wrecked, and then I, I realistically need to get this guy, the button. Okay. All right, I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing the vision, at least. So rather than this, um, this whole thing here, what I need to do is... <clears throat> I just need to get the node... Like, three or twice, basically. Or get, get child. Twice? <laughs> get child again? Um... How did I do this before? In a smart way? No, there's no smart. I mean, okay. Let me let me <laughs> let me do get node. Let me try this. So then I do texture rect texture button. Is that is that how that works, dude? <laughs> let me query the uncle node. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, like, to this, Texture Rex, this is an uncle, you know, if this is a child. <laughs> <clears throat> Remove the slash first, okay, so just like this. So this should happen immediately. No, it didn't happen immediately. Okay, what happened? Why? Item list six exists. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm in creative mode. All right. <clears throat> Kid added it. Oh, I don't emit the signal. Okay, right, I'm just stupid. <laughs> I don't. I didn't edit, call emit signal. Okay, yeah. So emit signal. <clears throat> it should work at least as far as, far as I've been paying attention. <laughs> See, that's the secret. Is that in <laughs> you may be able to pay attention to what my my fingers and mouth will say, but. But the brain, the cranium, is is saying some different things up here. <laughs> okay, signal is item given. And then I pass in the item dot ID and the count. Actually, I guess I could just pass in the whole item, huh? Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but... It's faster, so... <clears throat> Okie doke. And then in here, this is now... Oh, look at that. It works, dude. See, see, this is what I mean when I say, like, this is, like, the weird... Like, I don't really know <laughs> how it know. Like, again, the grandchildren thing, I get it. You know, they have a dictionary. How does it know this part? I don't... <laughs> like, it, it knows... It can seemingly follow at least some sort of intention. Which is, uh... Kinda interesting. Okay, then same shit, or take item, this right here. Item taken. <clears throat> Alrighty. Breakpoint. Thank you. Wait, nope. <laughs> Breakpoint, thank you! Okay. Do I have the button? I do! Okay, nice. <clears throat> uh, I... I do want to know, like, how... actually... fast get notice, because it's like... It's using node path, but it's still a string comparison in some kind, dude. Like... Oh no, but <laughs> string compare just in any game engine, to me, screams like... Data mine, screams slow, it's just evil all around. <laughs> 
Processing what you're doing while actually, actually doing what I did in live stream is difficult. I actually don't know. I mean, like, I don't really feel like I'm trying to be entertaining. Like, you know, like, okay, when I'm just playing, like, a fucking stupid fucking game, right? Like, I'm just playing Minecraft by myself. I gotta do something more than just talk about what I'm doing. <laughs> but I really do feel like when I'm, when I'm doing game dev stream, I can essentially just, like, do what I'm doing and speak what I'm talking about. And then get called fucking idiot boy <laughs> from chat, right? <clears throat> like, I don't feel like it's that, like... I don't know. I guess, like, I don't feel like... I, I Again, in comparison to doing, like, a normal stream, I feel like because the... <laughs> the content is significantly more, you know, like, something. Like, there's way... Okay, let me put it this way. There's way less people with knowledge. Even if my knowledge is dumb half the time, still way less people doing that than the many people playing Minecraft. Like, there's way more people who are, who are better, knowledgeable, <laughs> and more entertaining than me while they're playing Minecraft, right? Like, I got a lot of competition there. Here, way less so. Also, by the way, that's not Snail's house, because Snail's house gets me hella copyrighted. That was, a uh, Couple N. Couple N's another- it, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who, are, like, make Snail's house-esque music. And, uh, you know, I- <laughs> I love yoinking their- their stuff, and they don't- they don't copy strike me. A Couple N got, like, maybe 20k listeners a month, so... Uh, I think they can take what they can get, huh? <clears throat> no, no, yeah, they're, they're, like, before, this is the Couple N. The song, they have uh, 17,000 monthly listeners. Very small artist, but because I actually used to actually, do I do I still have it uploaded on my channel? I don't remember. Um, like my first like uh, YouTube video outro thing that I made. Right, let me just let me search for copy striked. <laughs> That's ineligible because I got that's a real copy strike. Where is where is where is revenue share or yellow? Is it this one? Was this one I made? I don't remember. Anyways, I used I used the snail's house. Um, wait, no, this is Osu. I just got fucking never mind. I don't know where I used it. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but <clears throat> I used the snail. I used hot milk. As my first stream outro, or uh, again, video outro, and I immediately got copy strike. I actually reached out to Snail House because they, somewhere they said if you email us and you know they uh, <clears throat> they they like you and you and you vibe with them, they'll give you copyright uh, whitelist. But they were like, nah, <laughs> this motherfucker emailed me with like what 500 subs at the time. Yeah, I don't think so. <clears throat> right, that's a try. I mean, okay. If you watch anyone, uh, or, okay, if you watch Ludwig, like, my first, like, half of my stream playlist came from him. I've gotten rid of most of it now, uh, just because it's old, and I want to make my own kind of, like, you know, sound-ish. <laughs> uh, but that might be where, I, I think this might, might be from his playlist, because, again, that's, that's where I first went. Like, ha almost everything came from there originally, but it's pretty, it's pretty separated now. <clears throat> yeah, OC stream on YouTube was not was not great. <laughs> I mean, I even tried. I did try to uh, to reduce the amount of copy strike. Like, I tried my hardest, <laughs> but but it doesn't matter. Like, I tried to mute the fucking Naruto opening. Doesn't matter. Everything's dead. <laughs> Yeah, kind of same. I was started watching a lot in like I think like 2019 or like late 2019, and that's when I was like kind of starting to stream myself. So I was just like, you know, <laughs> I needed. I, I wanted a playlist that's battle tested in 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 the trenches because I was making my own, and I kept every every single video I uploaded would get copy strikes. I'm like, fuck, dude, <laughs> give me something that that's been that's been tested in the waters, you know. Uh, okay, anyways, I have the button. What am I doing with the button? I still watch them occasionally, though. Like, I watched the uh, Unpaid Intern, which is pretty cool, but... I mean, realistically speaking, ever since I started streaming and having a job... <laughs> like, you know, the amount of free time I have is... So... But I still do watch my fair share of streams, just because... 
look, man. When I'm playing, when I'm playing Path of Exile. <laughs> I thought that's what I gotta do, you know. Okay, so I have the button. I guess I can just check if the texture exists. If the texture is real. So texture button. If normal. Okay. As texture button. So now if button dot normal texture normal. Okay, here. Let me break point here. I just want to see what this is. What is texture? Is it null currently? <clears throat> Let's see. Button. Texture normal is null. Okay, great. <laughs> wonder if I could modify the laser client to morph the music in such a way that YouTube doesn't recognize. I mean, if I wanted to be smart about it, like, well, actually, I don't know if YouTube does this. Uh, on Twitch, at least, I know that you can, um, there's, like, some special crazy virtual audio cable shit you can do to set it up that, um, you know, oh, I missed my DoorDash call. Whoops, <laughs> my be. But right, anyways, uh, you can like, you know, do something interesting that way. But I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna do it this way. And it's like fine, not like awesome, but you know. Initially suggested using an export variable on the scene route that configures the inventory item. Expert variable on the scene root? Oh, I see what you mean. Well, oh, like, so like, in this, I would export a thing from inside of here. Yeah, okay, actually, let's just do that. That seems like a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Okay. Well, okay, so I, I have to attach a script here. This will be inventory item.cs, I guess. <laughs> it's not like super great naming convention. Also, it's in the wrong ass folder. Uh, up. Up. Scripts. Okay, inventory item.cs. Is that what I want to call it? I'll call it inventory item button. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because now all I have to do is I just have to put a. Uh, well, I can put like a public like. Uh, is used. Well, actually, should I do this here? I could just make it an if check. Yeah. No. Let's just do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it this way. Back up scripts. Okay. <laughs> so then up here, I have an export for. What do I want to actually export exactly? I guess I want to export the texture for sure. So texture 2D um, normal. And then clicked. No, actually no. Click, click doesn't need to change. Normal needs to change. And uh, actually, is that it? That is it, right? Because in Factorio, I click it and it stays the same. It's just the background color changes. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go pee really quick. I'm gonna grab my food because I'm hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten like basically at all today. Cause I just <laughs> I, I woke up at 12. Like, I, for whatever reason, when I wake up like really late, I just, I, I, I just, like, if I wake up at like a normal time, I'm like, oh, I actually eat breakfast and lunch instead. But if I, if I, if I wake up like past breakfast time, it just kind of, <laughs> just kind of leaves my mind that I should do that. I, I don't know why, but I'll be back.
Ah, oh, okay. Not gonna starve, dude. My head's not gonna implode today. <laughs> Some days I just, like when I stream late and I stream for a long time, I, uh, I start getting like fucking, <laughs> I mean, I should just end my stream is what I should do. But I like, I get like, I'm really hungry. I just like getting fucking dizzy because I just haven't eaten <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> not gonna happen today. Let's, it's, it's crazy, dude. He's, he's doing things to survive. <laughs> Holy shit, no way. <clears throat> if the background color changes, then you could use pressed and normal for the background color, and then whatever the overlay one is called for your real texture item. Well, can I? Pressed and normal for the background color. Oh, well, okay, but see, then I, don't I need, like, like, a lot of textures then? That's, like, the only, that's what I'm trying to avoid, right? I don't want to have, like, five different ones. I think, I mean, that's why I have, like, this, um, this guy, uh, the texture wrecked with, <laughs> with my almost exact color picked fucking difference. <laughs> not starving is generally preferable. Yeah. At least not on stream, you know, maybe off stream. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, so, uh, got the normal one. I mean, okay, let's just, let's just try to get the normal one to work, right? If we can get the normal one to work, uh, let's fucking take it. <laughs> that's, that's good with me, right? So we build, and then inventory item, normal. I love you. Oh, wait. Right, okay, okay. I see. And then, wait, well, hold on. <laughs> I was gonna set the texture in this. How do I. <laughs> How do I. Right, because this is just its own thing. I mean, because then I would have to have the texture button constantly read from this, right? Oh, yeah, I guess I could just make a setter, huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Public avoid set sprite. Texture hex. And then... I guess, I mean, look, I know that I don't have to do it this way, but... <laughs> it makes me feel happy when I do it this way, you know, and that's what that's what's really important. Okay Texture button button. Okay, <laughs> again, it just it makes me feel happy on the inside when I get to do when I get to do, you know Extremely basic micro optimizations, okay <laughs> I wonder what set of, what set are meant for it's almost like this is the intended use case. Ah, it's crazy. <laughs> what you having like a, an interface with your with your, with the things that shouldn't be accessible? I don't. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm optimizing Craig as <laughs> what's up, Bob? That's right, and it makes me feel so smart, dude. Okay. That's the real reason I'm a network engineer, chat. Is because then. Uh, you know, if I can save two bytes on a packet, oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. nothing better, nothing. Because <laughs> I can mathematically prove that it's better without having to profile, without having to do it, it just works, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so we got set, set sprite, and then I guess I could just make like a, a like a, it's like a, I guess I should, I guess I should say set texture. Set texture. Free texture. Okay. Oh no, I'm I'm, I'm aware. Okay, <laughs> two bytes on a packet is insane, especially in games. If it's like your world state packet, you're sending every frame. Crazy. However, 
I'm normally not that good, so I'm saving the packets on like a thing that you send once every 15 years. But you know what? That's still two bites, okay? <laughs> Again, it's about the feeling, you know? Okay, so... In... Where? Where did I put it? Game UI? Nope. <laughs> Inventory UI? There we go. Okay, let me... Let me... Lock this. Lock this. I don't need this one. But these need to be locked. Can so like somebody sending world state packets every time? I... Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I used to think that it was bad, but from everything I've seen, that's just normal. Like, as long as you can keep your world state packet, like, small enough... <laughs> Most games send movement every frame, which again, that blew my mind when I was first learning, like, network programming, but... Okay, so as inventory item, and now I should be able to do control dot text. I, 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 I should probably call this like inventory or in item at least. <clears throat> okay, uh, what do I call it again? Is it called normal? Nope. <laughs> what do I call it? Oh, it is called normal. Oh. <laughs> so smart, dude. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, if normal's not even- not- not equal to null, <clears throat> then we do stuff. Movement every take is fine- oh, okay. When I mean world state, I mean, like, world state as in, like, all the entities that have moved around, you know what I mean? Not- <laughs> not- not the whole chunk of data, but just like, you know, if a chicken moved, uh, I just- I mean, okay. Minecraft, if I was making a game like Minecraft, I don't know if I would do it that way. But for, like, a four-player co-op game, it's, like, whatever. Like, it's like in my mind, as long as I'm keeping the end, like, if I can keep the game under, like, two Mbps down, up, down, that's ah, fine with me. <clears throat> that's generally my rough estimate, because that's, that's, like, you know, if you don't got two up and down, you're gonna have a rough time just at, in life. <laughs> you know, realistically speaking. Reminds me of the story of the network that was electronically uh, electrically incompatible with Excel spreadsheets sent via email attachments. <laughs> if a chicken moved, you simply need to not be desync. The client should be able to predict that. Should is the keyword. <laughs> I mean, again, if you're trying to again, if you're trying to do something really smart, like if you're if I like for example, if I was making a game like you know like Valorant or League of Legends, then I would 100% do full client predict. But it takes a long time <laughs> to make it like good and work. <laughs> like, it, whenever, like, again, for this game, if I, I, I think I am gonna try to make a multiplayer. Uh, I'm just gonna add, like, a dirty tag to anything that, that needs to be synced. And then, you know, chuck it up. <laughs> uh, and again, it, then I'll just, I'll just check to see how, how, how the, uh, like, how many bytes per second I'm sending. Or bits. And if it's under two, then I don't care. <laughs> right? Like, that's just, that's just how, it, that's just how it is for me. As long as the bits are under two, I don't care. <clears throat> in fact, I couldn't give- I could give less of a shit if it's, if it's under two. Even if it's bad. Minecraft has predictable RNG now, does it? That's insane. What's really crazy is that if, <laughs> if that's true, that it's still run- actually, that's not true. I was gonna say it still runs like shit, but I guess I am playing modded Minecraft most of the time, which is on 1.12, so therefore that's probably probably not the case anymore. <laughs> I haven't run, I haven't played vanilla Minecraft in a hot, hot, hot minute. 
Okay, so if it's not or if if the normal is not equal to null, oh no no, e is equal to null. That means it's empty. So e is equal to null. Then I want to do inv item set texture to be item dot texture. <clears throat> Oh, and then I also need to do inventory item in here. I need to do second export label. And then. Hey, that's pretty good. There we go. Okay, so build. Build a bear. Label. And then in here, in item dot set x or set label, set label. <clears throat> Actually, I guess I can just do like it shouldn't be called set label, it should be called like it, it shouldn't be. No, 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 this should be an int int count and then this should be like uh, change <laughs> or set item count let's just set let's just do it that way okay so now I need to do int current equals label dot oops label dot text dot to int beautiful <laughs> <clears throat> They changed all the RNG in the game to be cons consistent, so if you're a speedrunner, for example, your runs are not consistent if you're consistent. Wait. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, like, if I'm consistent as a speedrunner, I will always get X amount of blaze rods? That's crazy if that's the case. I mean, like, per world, you mean, I assume? So, like, set seed will be really consistent, non tas <clears throat> current plus equals count that's insane i mean oh no you're right i did hear about that actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i heard i remember you can check you can check by breaking a bush and if you get a stick then that means you're gonna get <laughs> that means you're gonna get blaze rods on the first or second or oh, no i think it's you got like a wither skull on the second wither skeleton always no matter what if you can break this if you get a stick from an item or from a bush something like that i remember seeing a youtube shirt with like talking about it <clears throat> current oh, I, I guess so then I need to do if current is less than or equal to zero then current or then label dot text equals empty string yep and then else it's equal to dot to string but yeah it's a it's a very very easy way to check if your world is like basically shit or not and there's gonna be a lot of like you start the world and you break things around you and then if they're good then you're on a really insane run and you just immediately know that your pace is gonna be nuts <laughs> also no worries then i think i mean i i think once i get this kind of working i'm probably gonna switch to uh i mean i want to play more i mean, i, <laughs> I kind of i was gonna play like real video games on stream but I kind of want to play PoE because my flicker build, I'm put I put so much into into defense. I, I haven't tested it at all. <laughs> I still have no watcher's eye because I'm poor, but you know, I might play a little bit on stream and then just end for tonight, uh, and then do games probably sometime this weekend. Actually, I don't. I think my mom came back from vacation, so I gotta I gotta see her. But at least one of the days, I'll uh, I'll hopefully do a longer stream. It's not just game dev. Okay, then else we do this. Okay, so <clears throat> set item count. Oh, I guess I need to do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is this is if label dot text not equal to string that empty then do this here we'll do int current equals negative one <clears throat> i 
and then else now current equals zero. Okay, yeah, that works. All right, audio sent. I appreciate all the help today for real, because <laughs> like I said, I hate UI, and I think I would have not made it very far without, uh, you know, the help from chat, because cause <laughs> I sure don't understand what it could, didn't understand, well, I, okay, I still don't really understand what a container is, but you know, <laughs> it's better than it used to be, so. Unnecessary violence. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Complaining about me initializing my variables. Fuck you, Visual Studio. I. It makes me feel good. All right. So then, inside of here somewhere. Uh. Or no, no. no inside of here. Well, okay, actually, okay. Theoretically speaking, I should have the amount of conveyors in my inventory now, right? No, it died. Label is null? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I not set it? I didn't save. <laughs> so stupid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 hold on. So. Uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, if it's null, then we break. So now I should I should have one, one guy, one conveyor set in my inventory. Yes, dude. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. So now if I go here, and when this happens. Okay. So, inventory item needs to have a public int item ID. And this will be set to negative one. For Actually, that's a much better way to check if it's, um, if it exists, right? I mean, it doesn't matter, but this to me feels better, right? So, item ID, if this is not, or if this is equal to negative one. Uh, you know what I should also do? Look quickly, let's just do this. Public void, um... I guess erase item. So we just set the item ID to zero or negative one. We set the label dot text label dot text equals string dot empty. And rather than having this function, we'll just do that. So in on player inventory item taken. So I need to do the same shit. Let's copy paste this. So now we want to make sure that it's not equal to negative one. Set item count. And then that no, we don't need to do this. Okay. Actually here. I have a better idea. So in set item count. Rather than this, I can now call erase item. Because that means that it's empty. There's nothing left in there, right? So, okay. Run it? <laughs> I have no fucking clue if this is going to work. No, it definitely did not work. Okay. Is it because... Okay, what's, what is not being called? Is this not being called? Goes in. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm just stupid. All right. Inv item. Dot item ID equals item dot ID. Okay. Try again. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Here, we'll just, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. So if I go bing, three, two, one, zero, it's gone. Hmm. Okay, it didn't re-add it though. Why not? 
I break this. What? On player inventory item. Do I not? Does right click should call give item, right? UI preview. Break. Break tile. Inventory.give item. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's dumb. Okay, uh, where's take item? Uh, there's nothing stupid in here, right? Okay, yeah, that's fine. If I run it... I now have the conveyors in my inventory. Click, 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 click. Right click? Oh m Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, okay, right. So... How do I want to do this? So there's two ways that, are, that I can go about this, right? There's two very simple ways uh, to go about implementing this. Uh, one way is to just search through the whole thing. And another way is to make a dictionary. I don't love dictionaries, to be fair. Uh, but I also really don't want to iterate through the entire inventory every time. I mean, it's fast. It's at most like 50 if checks. But it's not every- no, 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 we'll make a dictionary, it's fine. So I need to make a dictionary of ID, so int to- it's the item ID to where it is in the inventory. Okay, so int to int. Um, item map. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so if I always ensure that the last item... Oh, no, no, actually, no, I can do this. Okay, right, okay, so if it's negative one, then all I do is after this is item map dot add item or inv or item dot item id and I guess I need a count here. <laughs> Int count equals zero. Why are you mad? What? Oh, oh. Index, fine. Okay, then in the bottom, index plus plus. Okay, so now pass this into index. Oh, but now this, okay, now this does suck. Do I just iterate through? I mean, it, it's okay, it sucks because then I have to do a check here, which I just don't want to do. Like this, I think this is a this is a clean implementation of how to set the items up. Uh. Okay. Every time you get an item, so every time you break an item, it's gonna do an O N. That's fine. As long as N is not a billion, and it's not. So that's, I don't, I'm, I'm pre-optimizing, over-optimizing way too much. I'm just gonna do it, okay? So if inv item dot item ID is equal to item dot ID, then we just inv item dot set item count, count. And we break. Okay. I mean, it isn't going to work in the future if I have more than one item in my inventory. So I put down five items, and then I break them, and it worked. Okay. Look at that shit, dude. Okay. <laughs> it's real! It's real. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so. What this is going to break on is, okay, obviously, right, if I have, like, okay, let's just, let's just give myself... Uh, whatever five is. Uh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> what? Five is happy three, not ten more conveyors. Oh no. What do you mean, dude? Okay, hold on. Inv item. Item ID is zero. Oh. Am I not saving the ID? Why am I not doing that? What the fuck? What am I doing? Okay, in ready. Items, deserialize them, yeah. The name. Okay, yeah, I just, I'm stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm deserialized. This is, this is itemless.json. Okay. Real item dot ID equals item dot key. Okay, now I should have two items. Okay, great. Uh, the texture is wrong. Oh, right, okay, hold on. We can test with a different, well, okay. <laughs> the only problem is, okay. If I test with this item, I should have a dollar sign or a box on my inventory now, right? No! <laughs> okay, what about one? There we go. Okay, what is zero? Oh, there is no zero. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just fucking stupid, and I don't. Oh, whatever, it's fine. But yeah, we have a dollar sign image right now, but the, the issue is, is that this dollar sign is not placeable down. Uh, so I can't really test it. <laughs> I mean, I can test it with with invisible items. It's fine. Actually, we can do seven. Seven has has a, an item, right? Right, 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 right. Yes. Okay, good. So, the issue is if I put down five of these, and I put down five of these, I know that sh Oh no, I need three items. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I don't think I have, okay. So we'll do three now. Three. So it's gonna be an invisible item. I can't, I can't place down happy anymore. <laughs> I, whatever, look, all I'm saying is that if there's an item that's later, if, if there's an item that exists later, it's gonna break. So all I have to do is, once the item gets deleted, is move everything to the left, okay? It's not that fucking complicated. <laughs> Alright, it's really not that fucking crazy. It, it, I just have to do it later, and it's gonna be fine, alright? Look, the fact that this works currently as it is, is honestly crazy. I guess, I feel like this is the first time, like the last two game dev streams, are like the first times in I don't know how long that like I had a goal, I set myself to do said goal, and then I hit it. <laughs> I mean, again, somewhat at least today, right? I, my, my goal today was to get UI to work, and it's not perfect yet, but I mean, it's not bad, dude. <laughs> that is not bad. I don't have the mouse clicking and dragging yet, uh, which sucks, but... You know, that's what we leave for next time, okay? <laughs> I know, isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy to see progress on the game in the Factorio game? <laughs> He's crazy! <clears throat> I mean, again, it's not like, it's not like clicking... Actually, I should probably, I should probably check. Are there any errors? What the fuck happened, dude? Script inherits from type grid container, so it can't be assigned. What? Okay. Hey? Oh, 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 hold on. I know what it is. This label is, yeah, okay, this needs to detach label. Detach, or det detach script, I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It divines! Yo! 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 I'm still poor, dude. I, <laughs> I need a real fucking strategy to farm currency, dude. I got nothing right now. Also, okay, if I play PoE, I think what I might do is I might restart my stream. Uh, because 
<laughs> okay, look, here's the thing about it, Chad, okay? For whatever reason, every time I put Path of Exile <laughs> in the thumbnail, okay? Not even in the title, just the thumbnail, it gets, like, <laughs> one trillion views. And last time I did that, it got a bunch of dislikes because I was playing Minecraft for, like, seven hours before I played PoE, I think at least. Uh, like, look at this. This got 300 views and it just had, I mean, actually, this one, this one did pretty well. The game dev streams have actually been doing pretty, pretty okay. Uh, I, again, again, I don't know why, but only after I start, after, after I end my stream does that happen, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, I might, I mean, I want to, it's more like, I want to keep these VODs on YouTube, like, separated from, uh, random shit. Because I have it so I can make a playlist of them. And, uh, you know, people can watch that if they want to see the whole thing. And, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say follow along. Like, I was, at first, a little bit was like, oh, you know, this will be, like, kind of a tutorial. It's not, dude. <laughs> it's definitely not a tutorial. It's not a, it's not a follow along and learn. It's like a, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know who's going to use it. But, it's something. <laughs> Okay, uh... What am I... What, is it, what am I... What was I testing? Oh, yeah, it didn't crash. Okay, so we have eight errors. That's cool. That's fine. Any more errors if I place things down and break them? Oh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> that is not good at all. Hold on. If I break this and then I place the con oh oh no <laughs> wait why oh 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 equals item ID okay that should fix it All right so now if I break these first and then these and I yeah, okay, there we go. See, look at that. It's working, dude. <laughs> it's almost like I know a little... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I... Oh, God, dude. How did I turn a conveyor into a... Happened, dude. What the fuck happened? No, it's a dictionary. Uh, it's a dictionary of item to the amount of items I have in it. I was, I, I think I could do it the other way, but uh, I feel like having more memory and uh, or for faster remove is better. But I, I somehow turned a conveyor into. A generator, and I. <laughs> Bro, how the fuck did that happen? I can't repro. Oh god, dude. Oh god, dude. Wait. No. I... What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? How did I? How did I do it? How did I do it? Wait! Oh! Wait! Oh! Oh God! Oh no! Oh no! Oh God! Oh no! What the fuck? What the fuck? How did it? <laughs> oh, no, dude. Oh, no. I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude. But they keep changing. <laughs> they keep, they keep teleporting around. Oh. Oh. Reprobable. 
Okay, okay, I can... <laughs> hold on. I gotta get to full... How the fuck does this... There we go! Come on, one more, one more! <laughs> there we go! Okay. I know what's happening, at least. I know what's happening, at least. It's, um... Uh, it's because I'm not using... I'm using this as hard-coded here. This is this is not correct, and it shouldn't be made like this. I hated you until I switched to using observable collection, and it was easy to separate the logic from the display. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do right now, which is why I have the inventory here, and then I have this <laughs> to <laughs> to set it to. I mean, it still reads from it, but you know, it's it's not the same thing. I <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I'm 99% sure it is because um, I'm pressing one, two, or three in between the frame uh, because I've got I've got inputs to basically two different spots, which is bad. Obviously, we want to concatenate those together eventually. But currently, I have it in two different spots, so it's like cringe o'clock, right? Once I fix that, I think it should be fine. I think. <laughs> I really, really hope it is. Otherwise, I'm. Fucked, dude. <laughs> I'm giga fucked otherwise. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a piss, get water, and then I think we call it today for programming. And then I think I am gonna reset the stream. Again, just to keep these VODs isolated from each other. We gotta segregate them, right? Because <laughs> uh, I want, I do want to, again, I, I do want to keep the thumbnails a little bit separated. Uh, and then we'll play some PUE, and, and then, and then, and then one there, okay? And then, yeah, I don't know, actually, let me, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end stream, call my parent, my mom, because she came back from a vacation. I don't know if I'm seeing, when I, when we're, when I'm seeing her, uh, and then I will start my stream again, okay? When are you gonna get dedicated, dedicated clips, <laughs> dedicated clip channel? I have one! Look, it's right here! <laughs> let me switch channels. Luke's Woe Clips, although it's actually just <laughs> me grabbing my own, uh, what do you call it, timestamp and then putting a YouTube show. I mean, a long time ago, I was uploading daily in 2021. Like, I had 60k views, <laughs> 3,000 likes, that's fucking crazy, dude. I don't actually know why, like, this one did so well. To show the average view duration, it's 30 seconds. How long is the video? I need to do watch. Or hold on, no, 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 no. I need to grab this and then watch question mark V equals. There hey. we go. Okay. Ah, okay. It, it is 33 seconds long. So I guess at 31, oh, 93. Okay, it says here. 93% <laughs> average percentage view. It's a pretty good number. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why though. I don't know what the fuck caused this shit to do so well, but you know, regardless. <laughs> but yeah, I you know I have no editor, so it's just your boy. Like, here, here's my text file of uh, of of times <laughs> that I should that I should keep it, <laughs> and then and then at 2 a.m. every day I force myself to make a dog shit YouTube short slash TikTok, and then I uh, and then I and then I do. Or I don't. I mean, <laughs> it's 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 been daily for three days, which is an accomplishment for me. All right. And then before that, like I took a long ass break from here to here before I started doing it again. But I also have a TikTok, but TikTok, I think they, I think I say too many curse words, so like they don't like me, <laughs> and I don't I don't do the uh, you know the meta strategy the real strat of uh of muting yourself or, or like censoring yourself so i just i just don't and then and then it fucking you know i just get zero views but you know youtube stress that does does me pretty good so <clears throat> and the real thing i need is an editor but i also but i also like they would be unpaid and also they would have to like you know <laughs> <laughs> like sift through hours of VOD <laughs> and all this, so ah, <laughs> I just you know. I mean, I could pay him. How many? How many? Let's see. How many dollars did I generate 
on my main channel this uh, this month. Your boy made four dollars. <laughs> so if anyone would want to work as my editor for four dollars a month, yo, yo. <clears throat> Do I got a job offer for you, my dude? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end stream, uh, restart, and then, and then, and then, uh, we'll play, we'll play some, some PoE, cause I gotta, I, <laughs> I, I changed a lot of shit on my character to make me do Z DPS, but I should be tankier now, cause I was just dying every two seconds. I didn't test it yet. So this'll be, this'll be a, a question mark for everybody, dude. Who knows? Anyways, actually, okay, let, let, let me not just stream. I'll call. I mean, she might not pick up because I think she's probably jet lag because she was in Europe. I don't even know if she's gonna be awake. But anyways, I'll be back in like two seconds. Otherwise. <laughs>